all you need to know Always one or two things or a few I'm alone but I'm not alone You know that right There came a zero. Sent here, there is a silence if you wear. No peace either. Where there is no beginning and no end. Real life be like that. And it words that would go with the roof ahead.
Copy that. Over and over again, I wish a new pen below. Oh, my left, that can't breathe. My left, on the ball. But I can't find you with access to the back of my eyelids. Beach block, you're white, all the same. Endless, finite. Copy that.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome to ba band number 37, the beginner bracket for Bracket About Nothing. I'm uh, Kafka here with... Kawi. Hello. And we are going to be your commentators for our rambunctious matches tonight. Uh, before we get started, we want to announce the latter event that's going to be the our first post-patch tournament. Uh, it's going to be a, on Saturday, the... Let me check the date here. Saturday the 26th, right after the patch drops. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have fun with it. Uh, get everybody introduced to the different mechanics. And uh, everybody's going to test their metal. See who comes out on top. You should definitely check that out if you're interested. Are you going to be joining, Kawi? Uh, I work, unfortunately. Maybe I'll catch Bummer. a game or two before I go. But Yeah, I might not be available too. But, hey, I'm definitely going to be watching no matter where I am. And... Uh, Tonight we have a lot of we have 73 competitors. We have a, a really large event, which is awesome. Thank you all for showing up and turning out. Uh, first match of the night is going to be Meta Mischief versus Deceptions. Classic matchup: Leo versus Nagoriyuki. This is the season two top tier matchup to end all top oh, yeah. tier matchups. I don't see no happy chaos on the board. I don't see two time Evo winner happy chaos. The God. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, uh, thankfully we're not starting with heavy chaos matches. Although, you know, I, I gotta admit, after understanding it a little bit better, I do appreciate the interplay with the pressure. I do, I do enjoy that watching that. But uh, let's and see I how mean, I took. At least, like happy chaos really does have like it's very hard to play him with all the stance canceling and stuff. Like, true, true. Then the let's intro rocks off the chart. Yeah, I love that. Let's see how these two. <laughs> Meta Mischief's going with the the heavy DP off the bat, a ballsy way to start the round. Alright. Yeah, both these out. players are both these players are long time band competitors. Deception uh, recently running the bracket multiple times, uh, consistently from week to week, and Meta Mischief being a long time band community member showing up again for the tournament. Oh yeah, I've talked to them a lot in the server. Yeah, they are a regular player, well known for their Leo. And currently with a significant advantage, catching deceptions in the in the vortex here. Oh, don't for the command grab PRC. Dunkle PLC. Heavy DPs, but gets back thrown into. I wonder. Oh, this is bad. I think this is going to be the round for deceptions. I wonder if that PRC ended up being a mistake to cover for whiff, and then they just ended up getting it anyway. Yeah. So it seems like. Back throw incident. Yet Great again. grab. Back throw incident, doing a lot of work here for deceptions. Ooh, and the whiff. The whiff DP from Nagori would be really uh, baiting something out of Meta Mischief. Alright, good combo. Got burst it away. Got back turn stance, so he's gonna reverse it. Wake up, reversal oh. super. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. I don't even know what I just witnessed. Yeah, I'm like, wait, so. What did what I an un just What an unbelievable recovery from Meta Mischief. I. All right. All right, Excellent DP, DP pressure, staving yeah. off Deception's pressure, yeah. Bloodsucking universe. Gonna be put on defensive, yeah. but throws right yeah, at you. Can't, can't do any, can't do nothing there. That gets thrown. A very good use of meter there to, to keep. Oh, great air throw. Like throws are on point. Yeah, Deception's throw game is. Oh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Speaking of which, Deception knows when to throw and hits it every time. And they're going to seal game one by doing so. Wow, that was impressive. A really great back and forth between the two of them. Oh yeah. Backs out, are we going to see a character switch? Or just a misclick question mark? Uh, I think it's just the way the room's set up to, uh, okay. for round per round, yeah. You just go back to the, to the setup. Malice with the knowledge check and vulnerability for uh, Leo's DP starts from frame one, but the parry doesn't activate until frame three. So meta wow. just invincibility through the reversal, but didn't that get the parry. That is incredible. Yeah. Teaching me something. Love to see it. Counter at six eight. It's gonna burst right out of there. I think that's a pretty good burst, getting out of the pressure ahead of time. But unfortunately, they're not gonna convert, able to convert their burst into an advantage. Deception's doing their best to stay careful, but still manage to get no, a better DP. 
knows the throw every time. Great bait on the DP. Live it on by a pixel. Wow, manages Barely. to take it with the RC combo. Yeah, Meta's definitely overrepresenting that DP. Fireball. Or slash. Meta backing with DP off, being with wearing as a DP. Nice. Good corner advantage. And knows the throw every time. Well, connection error on my phone. <laughs> Deceptions just fencing out Metamis, just making sure they can't do anything but they take their pressure. Oh, Maybe great. Oh, yeah. the throw will take it right before they were going to pop, I believe. What a great mix up. And yeah, these throws are doing a lot of work for Deceptions. And now that they've be maybe become a little bit more confident in the w in combating the way Meta is going to play neutral, they just seem to dominate the neutral. And then once they're they have the corner advantage, Meta just stays there. Yeah. So can Meta make the changes the that they need to? Yeah. Can they make the comeback, the reverse sweep? The first game was close. We have to admit. Oh yeah. But once, uh, yeah, once Deceptions got adjusted, it just didn't go from there. They just seem very knowledgeable about Leia, like always knowing to throw when they go HD. Yeah, exactly. Wow, there. even that throw. Huge burst, Yo, or huge, uh, huge bait there. Alright, counter hit combo. combo. What are we get? And refund that blood right back. Super wall break, yeah. Yeah, that's Nagori Yuki damage for you. One counter break combo and it's all over. And the hip and funnel RC is going to seal it. Possibly the final round here. Back turn Sam, but just oh throws God. again. Wow, those throws. Now Meta does have an opportunity here to play around the throw game and start baiting them, but it, it doesn't look like maybe they know how. Their normal game plan is just getting staved off by their throws. Put him in the corner, let's see what we got. Ooh, great Abare. And the throw again. Alright, but this time gets hit by the HGP. Learning. Did not try to go for the cross up, but unfortunately, Deception will take the final. Yeah, the burst is gonna get them get them uh, to safety and then unfortunately Meta didn't block the follow up. Yeah, great showing by Deceptions, taking it 3-0. Meta Mischief uh, going to be heading to the loser's bracket. Hopefully they can make the run from there. And next up, we have... Do we hit? <clears throat> next up, we have Pride versus... I don't know how to pronounce this name. Reldnock. That's my best guess. Reldnock. Okay. Uh, looking like Bridget versus Kai Kisuke here. Uh, what do you know about this? Do you know anything about this matchup, Kawi? What do you know about these characters? Bridget versus Kai Kisuke? Uh, Not I Kai know that Kisuke, I... I'm sorry. Sin Kisuke, my mistake. It's hiding behind my banner. Uh, I don't know a lot about this matchup. <laughs> I've played a decent amount of each character, like against each character, but I haven't played, you know, yeah. one against the other. Oh, stepping off. Maybe not playing Bridget? Maybe not playing Bridget. Don't, don't, don't okay. Going straight into it. Probably classic so online Reldnock. issues. Reldnock on the Bridget versus Pride on the Sin. This I would imagine this is going to be a tricky matchup for Sin. Bridget seems to have. A, I would imagine seem, Bridget has a lot of tools to keep Sin out, and Sin is going to have to be the one trying to find their way in. All right, starting off strong. Yeah, Order. Reldnock starting off very strong with the wall break. How is Ron how is Pride gonna respond? Alright, air dash is out. Now they're in the corner. Counter it, burst keep him in there though. Pretty pretty understandable burst. Uh DP wars. <laughs> yep. A saga of three DPs. 
Ooh, Goes manages to come. Oh, Gets great burst. burst? Wow, great block on the burst. Oh, and Relknock wasn't ready for the follow-up. No stamina, no meter. Will he be able to close out the map? <gasps> and... Oh, living on a pixel! No OTG! Oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> oh, they OTG'd. No OTG. Wow, Relknock had that play. safe round start, back dash both times. Let's see what they can get started here. Oh, straight into wall break. Nice. Great combo. <clears throat> Pride with burst. Well, real knock with 50 meter. Maybe save it for next round? Yep. I think smart. they should, yeah. Yeah. Roadlock smartly trying to, to block the burst there, but it didn't come. An ambitious corner. dive that's managing to take get a lot yeah. out of it. Yeah. But DP out. I gotta say, it's so weird seeing Bridget use their DP so much, because, like, I feel like I don't get to see it that often. Like, yeah, yeah. That he's respecting too much, I guess. No, I think so. I think uh, it's it ends up being really bad for Bridget if you end up whiffing it, so. Yeah, Representation's good. Game. Yeah. And Relnock's pressure game is really consistent, just cycling smartly. Oh, and. Probably gets put him back in the corner. Back in the corner. Oh, huge counter hit. Oh, it drops the combo. Oh, jumps right over Roger. Throw will take. Nice work. And Rel not taking game one with a throw. This is very back and forth, but I like the way that uh, both pro both players were kind of offering each other a lot of respect in the neutral game. That was okay. great. So let's see how pro what Pride can do to make some adjustments and. Uh, uh, See if they can they can take game two. Oh yeah. Poor Sin. Do you think he's gonna get Giga buffed? Like they skipped over him for season two, and now they kind of feel bad. We'll see. That's all I really have to think about. It. We'll see. I haven't really heard anything about Sin, honestly. Oh my goodness! Wow. The first bait accurate. I'm very consistent at blocking those bursts. Right, RC to and turn out a little bit more damage for the wall three. Yeah, rail knock on the ropes here. Doesn't manage to block the DP. Pride's really got to start paying attention to that. Rail knock blocks those overheads. I don't block those. Oh wow! Oh, the... Ooh, Cali burst. <laughs> right. And red RC but will take the round. Yeah, rail knock doesn't block that Elkhan. Elnaco, he's playing safe on the round start. Back dash. Big pickup. Oh, wow. Really Very nice pickup. Relnok opting to go a lot for the 2 on 4 as no pressure. Punish. Not block the overhead that time. And back throw incident. See what we got. Relnok with advantage here. Can they keep it? Oh, and air dash is right out there. Stamina to keep himself safe. Okay. No! No wall ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no DP from Reld, not, or from Pride. And gets counter hit, and that's gonna do it. No! Oh my Please. goodness. That was just Pride so fast. Is... The DP. The... Yeah, Pride <laughs> is robbed of, of round two. Goes in the corner. Oh, baits a DP. Gets the yeah, Pride time. is doing a good job baiting those DPs now. Decent chunk of damage going through the wall. Well, knock on the ropes. Oh, I managed to get picked up a no combo. Oh, this so might do it though. Oh, but Drops the combo. Oh. It's a scary situation for Relnock. Can they seal it? Oh. They weren't able to do it. They were caught pressing. Alright, tied up 1-1. One, one. Both players doing an excellent job of keeping each other in and out of the in the corner and also getting out of the corner. Seems like uh they're they really they both understand each other's characters, which which is good to see.
tough when you go into the Sin matchup in particular, the Sin or the Bridget matchup in particular, without knowing the character, because then you just get run over. I'm just surprised seeing a Bridget DP more than a Sin. <laughs> I'm also surprised. <laughs> I'm not sure if Pride really realizes how strong their DP is. <laughs> I mean, if you know how to punish it, it's pretty bad, because, I mean, like, the gap yeah, in between, then... Yeah. It's safe if you don't punish it in between. Oh, so you speaking DP, of there which... Full meter on deck. Real not trying to catch Pride pressing a button, but they wait a little bit too long. Pressure. Yeah, Real not continuing to offer 214S pressure when 236S pressure could have most likely allowed them to continue. Oh, full meter on deck? Will we? Will this kill? Don't think it'll kill. Oh, it doesn't cash in the meter for the last the extra burst. Oh, wow. But we'll take the round anyways. Yeah. Solid air AID in. <laughs> Ryan start so DP. <laughs> yeah. That's real. And early wall break. Okay, probably with a significant advantage here. Relnak about to Rel get burst back though. Yeah. Will they use it? Nope. Gonna hold on to it. DP out of there. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, nice. We've seen yeah. Pride block that every time. Every time. And with the RC, it was just, you know, icing on the cake for blocking it. Pride stumbled a little bit at the beginning, losing the first game, but now we're 2 1. Yeah. Really good, like, burst bait for a beginner, I'd say. I agree with that. Yeah, really, really well done. Really well done. And that's a super important facet of the game, you know, if you're not, especially as you start to get higher and higher and people are, you know. Oh, this rent switch have to, to have to, wow, interesting swap. You definitely have to block players' burst. That's a huge way to open people up and nets you can really, honestly, it will win you the game if you can do it consistently. Yeah, when I was first starting right, out, it was always... Oops, sorry. <clears throat> let's see what Relknock has in store for us here. Okay, manage it. using the 6H without any swords. Kind of tricky. I think about it, Ram and Bridger are kind of similar. You have this, like, projectile that you throw out that kind of keeps the opponent locked in place. But, you know, once you have right. it out, it's kind of tricky when you don't have it. Yeah, definitely. Relnock looked like looking like they were struggling on Okazeme. Uh, Mortabato is one of the best supers in the game, so you know. Oh wow! Not managing to block the overhead. <laughs> oh, with a very low JS, doing lots of work here, and wall break. Pride, be able Pride to manages to find the way in. Oh, blocks it, but has wow. RC to burst to put him in the corner. Pride's though. really good at playing around their opponent's reversal options. I like that. Except maybe Bridget. Bridget DP. Will they be able to adjust to the RAM in time though to take the final match? That is the question. Now, now Relnock is also on game point or match point. And uh, we will see if they can adapt to the Ramlethal. You know, they successfully, I think blocking the Mortabato is huge, but oh, yeah. uh, they just didn't win the interaction afterward. And um, we will have to see if the trend of not blocking each other's reversals continues throughout this set. All right, they're both playing a little defensively, backing up at first. Mm, yep. Great combo, okay. Down. Oh my goodness. So and runs good under that. to get the side switch. Holding back. Hold back gamer. Great throw. Using the meter to cash in for the combo. Oh, you hate to see it. The drop gets hit by the reversal. Wow. So back in the corner with their own. A lot of respect. They're low, but Pride's going to take the ramp. Yeah, Pride gave Relnock a lot of respect there, but managed to find the whiff punish. They both got those jitters. They both don't want to, like, get fucked at round starts. Yeah, exactly. Throw, back throw into it and doing huge work Locks here for both players. Up. 
gets hit with the reverse. Wait, right. every time, that. every time, every time. Goes for the low this time. Mm -hmm. oh, Ooh, the baits the throw, is it gonna kill? and this oh. is gonna be it. Yep. And Pride takes it. Fantastic job it. by both players, though. Yeah, fantastic job by both players, and great job to Pride for the adaptation they were able to show, and uh, really consistent reversal punishes, except maybe off the Mortobato. I think maybe the wake-up reversal was their one weakness, as they continue to get hit for the, from the DPs and the Mortobato, but their burst blocking was great. Oh, yeah. Next up, we have Doc Common versus Rat Orion. I was playing with Doc Common a little bit before yeah. uh, the tourney. He's a pot player and pretty good one at that. He took some matches off me. Little booty nice. shaker, as he's known in game. <laughs> nice. And Rat the Soul player. A little booty shaker. Man. Soul versus Potemkin. A classic matchup. Okay, the rat opting the for the super sick DP. Armor doing a lot of work. Yeah. Jumps over the sweep. Corner pressure up. Soul says, I want out of here. Yeah, rat keeping up the pressure, escaping the corner. Oh, but that's a great PRC to cover the, the end lag and uh, get out of that potentially tricky situation. Through there, it's a slide edge. Pulls in at the slide edge. Oh, tries to go Ooh, for the Tempican Buster. Almost but... got it, but Rat's mashing. <laughs> Rat is mashing. <laughs> oh. oh, doesn't block Didn't first, but the DP the is gonna leave Rat way too open at the end there. Mega Fist. Love a good round start, Mega Fist. That's that's the classic. Yeah, these hammer falls are doing a lot of work for for Doc Common. Great. Off the hammer fall. great. Yeah, great RC combo. And oh, does not opt for hammer fall Oka's MA. Yeah, those are the one things that I noticed when I was playing with him. Oh. You just work on his hammer fall oh. charge to keep pressure up after Four slide head falls. and stuff like that. Yeah. Four hammer Back falls in a row. Corner. Finds the grab. And finds this the combo. Is gonna kill. Mm, not quite. That that's uh, that guy overestimating the wall break damage. Yeah. Oh, but and the hammer fall for armor <laughs> is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be Doc Common's key to success in this round. And hey man, uh, Pac got that game. buff frame four armor. You yeah, you, you know if you're if you're pressing, you're gonna get hit. That's just the way that it is. Uh, going into this second game, we saw Rat get caught a lot by their their use of DP, which was kind of uh, erroneous, if I may say so. And I like to see them make an adjustment so they don't leave themselves so exposed and. They need to beat the hammer fall, which is doing tons start. of work. Oh, yeah, very interesting round start. Okay, both players <laughs> staring each other down. Double, <laughs> double run. And there's that SDP that Rat's looking for. Oh, nice spacing on the Garuda that clashed the TP. Okay. Uh, wow, I'm honestly surprised that Doc Common is the first one to spend their burst here. There's the hammer fall again. Really wants that burst. Yeah, really wants that Give burst. That. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Man, I managed to successfully navigate the first layer of that interaction, but didn't get the second one. Oh, this is the way to the meaty throw. How unfortunate. <clears throat> okay. Keeping the pressure on. No anti air from Rat, letting uh, Doc Common in. Throws again. Doc Common's favorite move. Throw back. <laughs> oh, tried to wild throw wig, but... or tried to wild throw. <laughs> Surely that was a miss input. I mean, I guess. 
anti-air 2D. All right, and oh wow, using the RC to beat the armor on Hammerfall, a great choice. And manages Gold to beat the burst. But, oh, oh, but no Two pickup. RCs and no conversion. He grabs a Hammerfall though. Locks a Bandit Bringer. I mean, I think they just got chipped out at that point. Yeah. Turn off far slash. Great grab. Honestly. Doesn't go for the full right. bandit revolver. Getting some pretty good pressure. But the hammer fall is gonna let let Doc Common out. Rat seemingly right doesn't know that if they block hammer fall they can get a they can get an Okizeme by just going for a, a knockdown. Get here 2D at it again. The throw and strike throw. This might Okay. It. Okay. And it Rat's gonna take it. Head. Nice with a with a very nice double RC combo. Let's go. Tying it up. Both our players at one one here. Rat winning the winning the last game. Are we gonna see any changes from Doc Common to mix this up? How are they gonna change it up? You know, one need thing some they more pot busters. Definitely gonna need some more pot busters. Uh, I, I think Rat is starting to learn how to play around the hammer fall, and uh, Rat definitely had the, their number on on quite a few of those interactions from last time, and oh, definitely evading the hammer fall around start. Jumping around, that's but the not common knowing that they can throw there. Wake up, charge dust. Not gonna lie, I got hit by that. I don't react. Very nice. Good response. Oh, tries oh. to wake up Pop Buster, but just a little too early. Whiffs the pop. Whoa, what a grab. Dude. The close slash? Yeah, wrecking a really nice anti air counter hit. Oh, tries a wild throw, moves too oh, early. Oh, what just happened? That looked like it came out, but it just didn't connect. Blocks slide in, blocks hammer fall, but does not get the punish. The grab war is. Bar meter and a pixel of health. We'll get hit by the 2k. Really. It, for, some really unique interactions out of both players, and they're, they're coming up with very clever ways to, to play around each other. Good punish there. Yeah. And a, a, for, you know, a, a DP that makes a little bit more sense coming out of Rat now, which is good. They made the adjustment they need to to not leave themselves so exposed. Oh, oh interesting. There. Yeah, I thought we were too. Oh, the, ref oh. the like reverse hammer fall. I'm gonna <laughs> auto correct for him. Okay. Oh, oh blocks press the, the first out. Wow. And we'll get thrown. It was just throw after throw that game. Wow, both players are just throwing each other left and right. And, uh,. It's gonna be <laughs> enough more throws for Doc Common to be able to actually see, win the game. I don't call him a grabbler for nothing. Yeah, a amen. <laughs> Simply due to the numbers. And now Doc Common's up two one, and uh, have either of them see landed if they can their command throw? Hear their lead. No, neither <laughs> of them have landed their command throw. It has whiffed every time for both players. They're both grabblers in the normal throw sense. Oh, it doesn't punish but Rat is doing good. Ball, though? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rat offering a little bit too much respect, allowing Doc Common to go for the, the Potemkin Buster. I think uh, that's a good burst there, doing it when Doc Common can't react to it. During Garuda. Oh, oh, that, that risk is Oh, but oh, they managed to get out using Gold Burst. Alright, the screen's gonna come out, but Lock him down. nothing's gonna come out. All the meter from that Gold Burst gone. Both just cranking that risk. Yeah, cranking it back and forth. Just trying to strike each other to death. Fellas, we gotta put the throw back in the strike through. Yeah, honestly. These hammer falls, Rat needs to find a better response to the hammer falls because uh, they are just allowing, they're allowing Doc Common to get a lot. And oh, with the throw, Red RC, that's gonna do it. It's gonna be around.
Ooh, great okay. six P. Didn't hammer fall to follow it up. Got the car out. Mega push though. Okay. Rat respecting Doc a little bit too much. You can, you oh, can press after you much. block some things, I promise. Yeah, if you, if you press something other than, you know, their slash button, I promise you it will hit. <laughs> it will hit. That's okay, they gotta learn that. They gotta okay, learn naturally, though. Hey, there you go! Look at that! Trying to beat the burst, but... And gets put up by... Oof, but Doc Common's gonna, gonna close it out with another beautifully timed hammer fall. And uh, take the set 3-1. to Well done by Doc Common, well played by Rat, and... Uh, you know, well, I hope we see both of these players later on in the bracket. Okay. All right, and then next we have bed, bed with, with no man, man. and versus and non. non. And bed with no man, a, a recent ban regular entering every week, slowly doing better and better. Uh, as most players do when they enter ban every week, so uh, you know. If so you're, wink, wink. Much yeah, wink, wink. If you're watching or thinking about, or you're or if you're watching or you, you and you haven't joined yet, or if you joined and maybe got knocked out and are watching still, come back. It's fine. We all go O2. No matter what bracket it is, everybody goes O2 sometime in their life. So, Not me. I've never gone O2. Except Kawi. Kawi's never gone O2 because uh, they're just that sick with it. So. Just that sick. Unless you're Kawi and you're just that sick with it. Actually, Kawi, even though they're just that sick with it, they should still enter again. Because you'll do better next time. That's just the yep. way that it works. Just the way that it goes. So, uh, yeah, re huge respect to Bed With No Man for keeping up the grind. Um, non is not a name I'm familiar with. Uh, I'm not sure if they've entered before, but if it is their first time, I'm happy to see them here. I think I saw a little bit of buzz about them in the general. They're a Jacko player. Yeah. It's a very rare sight. Endangered species. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Is so the intro rock? On themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Right. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna. <laughs> Playing on a not legal stage, so I'm not sure if we're gonna remake here, but maybe they let it rock. Interesting. Deadman versus Jacko. Alright, gonna zone him with the fireballs. Not a bad decision, honestly. You don't want like a check get close to all those minions. Uh, bed with no man is a strong bedman player. They know what's going on here. So, and they're doing a great job of keeping Jacko in the corner. <laughs> wow, really? Whoa. Sheesh. Yeah. Bed with no man dominating the first the first round. Once they had control in the neutral and then got the corner advantage, they just did not Hold let on. go. Round start gold first. Right into install. Okay. Oh, but the oh! the bomb is gonna let Bed with No Man out. Start managing to fight back, we're gonna get reinstalled again. Reinstall again. again. So pseudo reversal. Wow. Yeah, this pressure is scary, and that's gonna do it. And unfortunately, I, I mean, I wouldn't know where to burst there either. Frankly, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. Bed man is oh. definitely hard to play against, if, especially if you don't know what's going on. All the screen noise and like knowing what's an overhead or not, because like yeah, yeah, and with the install active, it's it's super, it's even harder. Yeah, because it's like when you're first playing against them, you're like, oh, I just hit them and their thing goes away, but then it doesn't when they're installed. Yeah, and everything's so fast and so much stronger. It's just you know that install allows them to just snowball out of it. Okay. okay. Uh, so we're going to be waiting for Bed With No Man to restart uh, so they can fix a technical issue on, on their side. <clears throat> um, yeah, do you have a lot of... Uh, no, no. Do you have a lot of Jacko or Bedman experience, Kawi? 
Uh, I've been dunked on by a lot of Jackos, and I played yeah. somewhat against Bedman. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, Bedman, one of those characters that I think either is very feast or famine. Oh, yeah. Uh, either really struggles in neutral or can really control the neutral. And then, you know, when it comes to the, like a lot of, I think both these characters actually, when it comes to the corner, you know, when they have the advantage, they have to be really capable with how they structure their offense. And then they can potentially keep advantage the whole round. I mean, as, yeah. a, as a Zato player, I, I play basically the same way. Um, Jacko, you know, I'm not sure what Jacko's response is in in this situation. You know, when you're down one one game and you're against a bedman player who seems to really know what they're doing, you know, do you try to play neutral a little bit more safely and try to do minion setups? I mean, I think that's probably the best choice. You know? Yeah, it's. I'd imagine, like, I haven't seen too much of this, like, specific matchup. These are both pretty uncommon characters, but I'd imagine it's pretty hard for Jacko, because, like, unlike most sort of, like, zoning matchups, where she can just, like, jump up and fireball, Bedman's projectiles actually, like, track, so she can't just yeah. jump up and get away from the projectiles or the zoning or anything like that. <clears throat> right. Not only that, but if they have the a lot, I think they have greater potential than a lot of other projectiles since they do track and they do go at diagonals to collide with the minions on the way, and then then it's then it's over for the minion, um, unless the minion's traveling, of course. Yeah. But uh, the projectile is also pretty quick, so it, I think the jackal player has to play very responsively and very reactively to, to kind of gain an edge in neutral and then try to keep the snowball from there. And Early that's very hard by, to even just set up minions on the field. The yeah, and it's there. exactly what we're talking about here. This this neutral game is really tough. Manages to get the counter hit, but it doesn't combo into dust. Okay, let's see what not. I can do with this advantage. Alright, can oh, no. block the overhead up. though? Is Nan gonna burst? Yeah, they there do go for it. But that, just like I said, like we talked about, you yeah. know, the, <laughs> the the projectile game is very difficult for, for Jacko to deal with. And there, the FRC into the overhead is... Yeah, that's hard yeah to the thing that's really killing them is just like, they can't... Can't block the overhead. And I'm like, I'm not dogging yeah. on for it. I don't block that shit either. Yeah, well, and bed with no man is so good with of at converting off of the overhead when it does hit that it you know it becomes basically oh a death goodness. sentence when they don't when they don't block it. Potential good pressure set up here. Non, okay. Yeah, good Locking defense. Double overhead. Oh, fine. Oh, uh -oh. But the reverse. Is that gonna hit? Oh, oh, good PRC. Wait. Oh, but too far to even... actually punish. Yeah, I don't think they even like blocked it though, so that's probably why the I'm hesitation. Not sure either. I think it was a little too far away. Okay, non getting started here. Finding some footing. There we go. Oh, but the mini gets put away. Now we're back to bed man zoning it. Oh, but Dev with no man correctly presses when non is about to. And the first coming out here. Oh, but and it's sniped. It. 2-0 for bed with no man. 2 for bed with no man. But it looked like Nan was getting started. They were getting adjusted. They they knew what they were trying. They knew how to kind of. They started to navigate the neutral situation yeah. with a little bit more more aptitude. And I think that's really what they have to do. There were that situation right near the end where they managed to get close to bed with, to bed man, but they didn't have the priority on on a button press to actually be able to take it. And unfortunately, got counter hit. But I think that was the you know right right about where the situation you know, want they wanted the situation to be. Let's see if they can keep it up. Oh, uh, round start the gold burst again. Round start gold burst. A lot of confidence on Bowen from Bowen. I mean, hey, it worked one time. <laughs> and I mean, is that really even that bad of a strategy for Bedman? Because like installs easily the like best part of their kit. Yeah, I think, uh... Oh, wow. Uh, non with a corner advantage, but not able to convert it into a combo. All right. And yeah, I agree with you. I think the meter gain is uh, is big for, for Bedman, so I think it's actually not a terrible option. Kind of like how Faust might want to get a gold burst early in the match. In the corner, but not to get out. Minion on the field. 
a little combo. Fortunately, the main gets sniped, and now Bitman's in. So. It's got full meter on deck, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is so oppressive from Bedman. Living on a pixel on a dream. Oh, wow. And really good FDs. Good FDs for Nan to keep themselves alive, but yeah, they weren't able to stave off the offense for long enough to, to turn it around. Jumping around, trying to get an opening. Jack will get the first one, but gets gold first. Will we see the inside? Trying to input it. There we go. There it is. Impressive guard crushing. Oh man, yeah, it's really impressive how uh, good. He's close to twist though, so now it's Shaco's turn. YRC's right out of there though. Gets him back in the corner. Great YRC to escape, yeah. And the pressure starts again. Is Non gonna burst? Oh, gets the gold burst. Full meter on deck. Nice. Keep Managed to time the minion throw it. correctly. Crash with the fireball, keep it safe. Tries to kick the minion, but it got destroyed, and the fireball will take the round. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't look like Nan knew when they could pull minions, throw minions, and uh, wasn't able to hit their minions with enough consistency to get through. But a good showing from both players, you know, clearly showing that they're they're doing their best to adapt or and uh, play around each other. So hopefully, we see both of them later on in the bracket. Our next, next up, we're gonna match. have Burnside versus Westfield. I know both these two. People. Yeah, two ban, uh, uh, you know, longtime ban community members showing up, making it to round three. Well done by both of them. And uh, you know, it always hurts to see a friend in bracket, but that's the way it does have to be sometimes. So. This is going to be Leo versus Geo. Burnside on the Geo. Westfield on the Leo. Burnside's been a long mainstay. I think they played when I first played. Change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I can't speak for how long I've I've known either of these players, but I've definitely known them for most of the, my duration, the duration I've been in ban. Letting the intro rock, epic, epic intro. Such words as your last? Leo versus Giovanna. Duel one. Let's rock. Interesting music choice. I don't think I've heard this track before. Yeah, this is a good song. Burnside with a big first advantage. Manages to get wall break. Throw mix. Going for the throw mix up early, I kind of like as Giovanna because you represent that you're willing to do it. Oh, but wow. The aerial super. Well timed 6P punish. That. And Burnside getting the grab and getting a, a perfect. Good first showing so far. Yeah. I think there were a few opportunities Westfield had, had could have DP'd, but. Oh. Ooh. Never mind. Safe jumps. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, Burnside is just all over Westfield here. Westfield. Bursting out for safety. Yeah, they held on to their burst the entire first round, which yeah. I'd say is a smart choice. Oh my goodness, Burnside is going for some really tricky pressure situations oh. and manages to get the second perfect. Wow. A strong start for Burnside. Very strong start for Burnside. I mean, Westfield barely played the game. I think they'll make it back, though. You have faith. I have faith. Yeah. I have faith, too. Uh, Westfield... Both players taking a moment here to... kind of maybe gather their... gather their, their thoughts. Now we're going into it. <clears throat> so what do you think? Do you see anything that maybe Westfield could be doing differently? I <laughs> Like, 
Oh, changing color. You gotta get the power of going Super Saiyan. Changing color, changing music. But wow, like Burnside is just. So. Burnside is just mashing whenever they have the opportunity to, and, and Westfield is just getting run over. Oh, a great DP, but immediate burst. Burst right back. Trying to space each other out. Goes in for the dust. Huge counter hit. Oh, but no conversion. Doesn't capitalize. Just for the cross up, but doesn't get the the back turn stance. Reversal. Yeah, reversal super, with a almost pixel. doing it. Oh. oh. The, almost misses the punish on the DP. Yeah. Uh, a hasty DP leaving them open to getting hit. Great 6P. Correctly responding to the pressure. Oh, Westfield going for a... Drops yeah, the combo absolutely. Oh, supers, but... Burnside's going, going Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog. Alright, but back turn field. stance. Westfield having oh, just drop the combo. Oh. Heavy DP will whiff them. Yikes. Burnside yeah. to the wall, but Westfield got full meter on deck. BRC's in. Oh, another BRC in to throw. Back turn That's to get over it. That is a mix up. Oh, Ooh, and the reversal though. The reversal super is gonna gonna do it for Burnside. Westfield Burnside up 2-0. Westfield though putting up more of a showing, show, find those opportunities Definitely. to get into back turn stance, put on some pressure. Yeah, coming alive for sure. Can they come alive even more? Can they come alive even more? And stave off some of the really very oppressive Burnside pressure coming. Burnside, I mean. Yeah, Burnside's just having a good night, I think. They're not doing it. They're, that's not linear. Yeah, it's non-stop. It's all over the place. It's a fast character, and they're playing fast. Tries to go up and throw, but gets punished. Oh, wow. So, Great combo. Almost the ball, oh, Gold Burst, they're oh. wilded. Trying to trying to keep keep it with Gold Burst. <laughs> not, opting not for the cross-up button, but for the, the normal... Burst oh, slash. Blocks the DP. Oh, but drops a combo. Drops a combo. Westfield having a chance here to make it back. Oh, they're spacing each other out. 2P punish the lack for the throw, of conversion. and will kill. Yeah, the lack of conversion ability really uh, becoming a huge problem for Westfield. They, they get situations in which they can start a combo, but just don't get much off of it. Oh, they <laughs> both... Westfield goes to the air throw while Kyo goes to the ground throw. Gonna get hit by the cross up, I got hit there. Blocking the heavy uh -oh. DP. Managed to get hit by the dust. And yeah, another uh... Does not capitalize on the throw punish though. High 6P. Picks a left, got played safe, but Burnside is just wow. dancing around him and throws him to take the grip. Great yeah. neutral from Burnside, managing to just close the whole thing out with a 3-0. And a really strong showing from Burnside, really, really oh, yeah. nicely played. Hopefully Westfield can can turn it back, turn it around, and we'll come back in through the loser's bracket. But next up, uh, we Westfield, have... Uh, Burnside's going to move on. Andy, Andy versus, versus Smalls. Smalls. Not too familiar with either of these players, but from what I'm seeing, we got yet another pot and a Sin Biken Man. I'm confirmed this is Biken, huh? Yeah, you know, I have to admit, I'm not fam really familiar with either of these players either. So I'm Going very excited to see what they're gonna, what, what kind of a show they're gonna put on for us. I don't know if Sin would pot. be better versus Pot. It's like, Perry gets pretty hard punished by Wake Up Pot Buster. Or Meaty Pot Buster, that is. That's true. Small's having good showing. Very good pressure from the start. Ooh, just out of range of that heat knuckle though. And the Ozonsen's too high, they could grab it out of it. Oh wow, that's okay. not gonna hit anything. Barely. But... Oh, can we hit that? Faulty not really Faulty. realizing that they didn't have the space for it. Jump to Tommy, throws him in the corner, 
Oh, oh. and the reversal though. Gonna counter hit that. Very nice. Now let's see if Alti. Oh, back but mega the, fist. the back mega fist is gonna do it. Great Hots. safe choice for pot players around the world. Pots think they're neutral, so sit and just back mega fist. <laughs> Yes, I told you! <laughs> yep, you did. You you said it yourself, and we saw it right in front of our very eyes. Alright, Hammerfall gonna bust through that. Oh! I don't know if he was trying to call it the reversal, but got a parry instead. Drops a combo. Multi drops combo. a combo. And the PRC. Gets a for it. Uh, buster. Oh, oh, okay then. Great reaction. Great Upwards. reaction. Upwards blue RC on wake up. Yeah, maybe they were going for some some sneaky overhead mix up, you know, sneaky overhead slowdown mix. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> All right, but we're going back in. Question mark. Okay, there we go. Staying with the biking. Uh, you know that they're a sin player. Is that why you bring this up? Uh, so you brought that up? I I just read their profile on Discord and says oh, oh, they oh. got the sin and bike and roll. Oh. Round star, round hammer start. Fall. Yeah, round star, hammerfall doing a lot of work for small. Get blown by hammerfall again. Yep. Can't you cannot, Can't ignore that armor. And gonna armor right. through and punish with the pop buster. That's working out very Flash. consistently for smalls. Doesn't get the hammer fall in, but catches the air dash with Mega Fist. Okay, Okazemi. Faulty gets away. Going for a pretty Zonsen, but I don't know. Harry's the Jubet Beanie. Start their own pressure, safe zone for Tommy. And gets pushed out though. Okay. Oh, oh tries to throw oh. them in the air, oh. but misses. That was a confusing situation. Waits for the reversal, but just blew RCs out. Faulty's so gotta be very careful here. Low health, yeah. but gets thrown. Yeah, unfortunately. Multi wasn't able to do a low enough Yo's Onsen to keep themselves safe and gets thrown. Smalls and we've up seen, two zero. We've seen Smalls punish that more than once now, so I think Faulty has got to be really conscientious about the next time they go for something like that. But in general, I think you know Smalls is really controlling the neutral. Faulty tries to find ways to get in, and then either doesn't make their pressure safe enough, or isn't approaching properly, or approaches in a way that Smalls reads, and then they just get blown up for it. Yeah. So they have to be careful. Hammerfall back mega fist is work. also. Yeah, Hammerfall and Back Mega Fist are, are really becoming problems for them. And forward Mega Fist, apparently. Gets hit by the side. Oh, yeah. Getting the Potemkin Buster. Good pressure, but Gold Burst right out of there. Okay. Putting up the shield. Gonna be small. Oh, to be careful. By... Oh my yes. goodness. Turned into a Demon Dan clip. All you gotta do is hammer, fall in, throw. Okay. Tether's still there, which maybe works out in Small's favor here since they were at Okazeme. Oh my goodness! The awareness! Small's putting on a great show in here. Yeah, Small's is looking great. Looking like they really understand the Viking matchup. Frankly, they know when to press. They know what to do when. I think they just got good pressure too. Like they're consistently like falling yeah. up off slide heads and stuff like that. Like yeah, and they're playing very defensively. Not you know, not really, not really worried about making a situation in which they're going to win, but you know, allowing those situations to arise. Great blocking. The, they're so good at blocking that Yozansen. I feel like yeah. they got biking knowledge. Like oh, for absolutely. a beginner, they... blocking Yozansen's like that is always pretty hard. I'd oh say. yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. I don't block those. <laughs> so yeah, they they 
they know what's up in the bike and matchup. And Smalls is going to take it 3 0. So both of our, our round three uh, winners' games were 3 0. Just happens to be like that sometimes. Now we're going to take, uh, we're going to wait a little bit for our next round of matches to be called. Akawi, what's been your favorite uh, match so far? Uh, we look through them all so far. I think I think I'm gonna go with a uh, Pride versus Reldnack. They both just like put on a yeah. very good showing, very nice back and forth sort of game, very yeah nice and interesting. Yeah, that was gonna be my answer too. I think uh, both of those players really really showed that they understand their characters and uh, were able to play around each other's options really well. And like you said, it was back and forth. And um, I mean, I thought it was it was extremely competitive, which made it fun to watch. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed that match too. I think maybe a second for me is the, uh, the match with uh, Doc Common, Rattle Ryan. That was another kind of back and forth match. And uh, you know, I think both big players. dudes hitting each other yeah. with big buttons. Yeah, big dude slugfest. I really, I really enjoyed seeing those two go at it. Uh, round four matches are gonna be our first match is gonna be Plush Llama versus uh, Yorf, which is gonna be. I need to see who Plush Llama plays. I've got a character tag in there. Bios, oh, there I'm not is. quite sure. No character tag, so we'll just have to wait and see. Yorf, a, uh, a May player who's been in the band community for a long time, TOs for us, puts on events for us, and, uh, you know, good friend of mine. So, no biases, but uh, no biases. I'm looking forward to looking forward to a good, good match here. Definitely looking forward to a good match. I uh, hope, you know, unfortunately, May... Amosly is getting totally gutted next patch in about uh, 72 hours, I think. So I've been hearing that. Like, what? Where's the proof? Like, she's getting her dolphin canceled. Have we seen like? Well, I don't know. We need to. We we're waiting for patch notes. You know. Oh, may players just be downplaying as usual. I see that is. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. It is entirely possible. It seems like uh, I, I think that's happening for most characters. You know, most most players are like, my character, it's gone. I, I'm not going to lie. I was like that, too. I totally thought that they nerfed Axel's range. And it was just the way they were filming the TV made it look weird. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, yeah. That's how you know you got that cam, cam footage <laughs> intel. <laughs> The, the aspect ratio is just a weird and so it makes everything look different. <laughs> uh, Almost ready here. Walking up to the podium. Bridget, I see. It'll be May versus Bridget for our first game of round four. Two Guilty Gear girls. The Guilty Girls. Man. Duel one. Ruins your life. You hate me. Alright, starting off with the round start dolphin. The over wrong hit. start. Yeah, a strong start. That's a huge a huge counter hit. Uh, probably a burst safe combo. Good combo knowledge. Yeah. Start dolphin again, but gonna burst out of there. Plush Lama deciding I don't want any of that. I wanna run my pressure. And doing so. Yo yo setup. But no pressure off of it. Ooh, Yorf manages to find a way in. Trying to just hit back, but just getting slammed by dolphins and anchors. Yeah, Norf, Yorf not not even needing a combo, just going for, I'm going to play RPS with you four times, and you'll lose every time. And that'll do it for me. Right. Counter it, but not going to no conversion. Off it. Going for throw. Corner advantage. But RPS down. goes in the favor of Plush Llama. Recognize that. Roger. Oh, there's enough. Oh, wow. It's quick enough to recover. That's surprising. Oh, uh, that, well, yeah, wow. 
Thank God they also, buffed Beach Ball. Also did not think that would be fast enough to recover. But uh, yeah, Yorf manages to take it with a pretty, pretty convincing two round win uh tricky situation there on the left side of the screen where they did a cross up vertical dolphin and um credit to plush llama they correctly responded by by you know going for the delay tech uh but and they had the advantage but unfortunately yorf just knew how to play out of it yeah <clears throat> so i hope we get to see more of uh what plush llama's got in store for us Maybe they just need the, you know, sometimes you just need to get warmed up to the Dolphin RPS. You know, you just get hit five times and you're like, okay, well, uh, I need to see what they like to do. So download complete, maybe? Question mark? You know? Taking a little bit to get back on the podium, possible character switch? Question mark? Yeah, taking a moment to collect their thoughts at the very least. What do you think about Johnny? What do I think about Johnny? I think he looks like a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna learn him, actually. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna at least learn him. I don't know if I'll pick him up as a true secondary. I have a few other characters that I'm curious about. Uh, I hope he learn his secondaries. Suffers. I hope he suffers. I mean, he looks decent. Looks mad decent. So. I'm just taking the time to collect their thoughts. Going back to Bridget. Now I played against some messed up Johnny's and Exert and I and I really hope that T gets treated like a criminal. Like a criminal. It's different. He's got cards, no more coins. Is he not? Is he not a criminal you know? He's a, Don't we treat him like he's that He's a anyway? bounty hunter, is that? I don't think it's like a criminal job in Guilty Yeah, no, it's not a criminal. It's like, you know, criminal, criminal grabber. Criminal getter. Yeah, bounty hunter seems like a pretty lucrative job choice in the Guilty Gear world, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, hey, a lot of the Guilty Gear characters are bounty hunters. Uh, Soul, That's what I'm saying. Bridget, May, Johnny. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Dwarf taking the game the first round pretty convincingly. Managing to managing to show that they're they have a good understanding of the Dolphin RPS and, and what buttons to press when their opponent is also pressing. Corner advantage here. DPs and gets a yeah good DP out. Uh, you got to be careful about using that two one four S yo yo here. You have to hit your opponent to keep them in because Yorf knows what's up. Later on deck, but doesn't reversal and it's going to send them to the wall. Oh nope, gonna keep the pressure Ooh, going. Big counter hit. Will it be the correct choice. Oh, rocks Ooh. a baby, but mashes out. Wow. Ooh. Mashing dolphin. Uh, and to rock the baby goes kind of crazy. I'm just gonna say it. That's that's bold and brazen. Bold I and think brazen. keeping the corner there was a good idea, but I mean they could have possibly like jumped out of the corner. But I don't know. It's kind of like, would you rather go back to round start RPS with May? No, Hope definitely they don't not. Try to hold out. Yeah, no. I think uh, I think I think it was a good choice. It just ended up not being the right one. Alright, two 2S. Dolphin to get back in their face though. Hitting them with the yo-yo. 6H with the yo-yo. Big counter hit. Okay, Yorf really going for it here. Dolphin's flying all around. Oh, I think they tried to go for the air grab. They did, but didn't get it. Plush playing quite a bit more respectfully, looking for a neutral opening instead of trying to force one. And they managed to find it. And RC combo, are they going to do it? Oh my goodness, those Japanese uh -oh. guts. Yeah, seriously. Ooh, that reversal does a lot of damage. Oh. And, but they're going to hold out, take the round. Yeah, well Come done by both players. Ooh, it throws to away the, the pressure, like, oh, Ex no! Expecting the dolphin to come, but it does not. Short dolphin. Oh, you, you. Oh, <laughs> I on the oh great grab from Plush Llama. Oh, they don't. They're not able to convert their corner advantage. Oh, tries to BB throw. It's back dash. 
beach ball not gonna go far enough. Oh, it's bounce off the wall, but doesn't kill. Ooh, nice awareness from Flush Llama, able to grab when their pressure ended. With the Going for wall break. Be careful the reversal. No reversal. Okay. No. I'm right, just trying to keep him away. Never mind going in. Ooh, huge hit. And that's and gonna do it. Takes the game. Flush Llama is coming to life. Gears well done, they managed turning. to make the adjustments. They managed to make the adjustments they needed to make to come back and win the win the game. So that's, uh, I think, is that two, th two, two to one now? Last game in favor of uh, Plush Llama, or is it one one? It's a two to one, yeah. It's two one, okay. So Plush Llama's got a little bit of a hill to climb, but it looks like they might be able to do it. They've, they've changed their neutral style to be a little bit more, you know, a little bit more patient, waiting for Yorf to come to them, and uh, that seems to be working out. And, just and they have great awareness on, yeah, and they've got good conversions, great awareness in the corner. Here's another one of those examples. Is Yorf gonna burst early? Great 6P. Oh, burst oh. in, it's oh. over, but then he immediately gets out. <laughs> Plus, Llama man managed to end up in the corner from that burst, but they correctly dashed out of the corner. Right, nice little combo, super through the wall. Yeah, good conversion from Plush Llama. Yeah, they really found their footing the... now. Oh, unfortunately, Mace is going to get huge. right in that face. Smack yeah, huge him. hit. They missed there. I think they missed the Dolphin Charge there. Okay. Just Block doing a lot of work there, allowing him to get a punish. Rock, going to jump over Roger, though. Burst coming out. Ooh, dancing around each other. Oh, and Plush Llama manages to get the hit. Yeah. Seals the round. Plush Llama really coming to life back here. Yeah. Great counter hit starter, but not much of a conversion. Plush Llama just needs to work on challenges. Yorf is going to... Not let her do that to you. Yeah, Yorf is, Yorf is determined to keep the corner here. Finds counter hit after counter hit and plays Yikes. RPS to, that was to a really beat easy. out Plush Llama. It's a brutal showing. Round three here. Plush Llama looks a little bit more concerned in neutral. Manages to find a pressure sequence. Really being careful not to let Is he in? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, great nice mix up. Combo, but it drops. Oh, runs under the Runs out of the corner. Amazing. Nicely done. Oh, Good. Oh, I don't know if that was a. Yeah, I don't know if that was a read or a reaction, but that worked out really well. Oh, can use his burst to keep the corner. Counter burst. And Ooh. kills! 2-2! Two, two. A great pressure sequence from Plush Llama, netting them a counter hit, which led to winning the game. Brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. We're going to game 5. Good showing. Jolly good show! <laughs> Giving me a uh... oh gosh, what's that show? Regular Never mind. Time. We're back into the action. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Giving me regular show vibes. We're back into the action though. Game five, Yorf versus Plush Llama. These two players have been slugging it out for the past past four games. Yeah. And Plush Llama has really winner. climbed the hill to come back. Oh, Yorf not going, opting to not go for the command grab Ooh. punish there. That'd be a good conversion, but is he bursting out of there? Plush Llama getting away after choosing to be a little bit more patient, wait for Plush Llama to press a button, but in fact they don't. And now Yorf is the one caught pressing. Counter hitting a wall break. Yorf, Yorf 50 meter. Now that I think about it, I'm surprised Llama has, has only showed GP very sparingly. Like Yeah, only once. Waiting in the wings. Both players playing patiently. You are finding a big counter hit, but not converting off of it. And that Roger, does, in fact, go kill. backwards. I have not ever seen that in my life. Go yeah, backwards. it tracks super hard. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Roger the missile. Maybe I'm under Ooh, good counter hit. Players. It's like, whenever I see they have meter, I'm just like, you gotta wait the reversal. They're gonna reversal. Oh yeah, they're always, yeah, the reversal's gonna come. But I'm surprised they've been 
They've been holding on to it there. Super reversal happy. Yeah, these two have an iron will. Now, oh, Buck Bomber on, on match oh, point here. The hit. splash is going to hit. Okay, even even for both players. Easy heard my words of wisdom. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no! no burst! Oh, but doesn't get Does not connect. Oh, and... and your dolphin connects. This is a game five last round situation. Oh my goodness. All right, they're both playing a little safe. Six P's in the corner. Six P counter hitting the dolphin. Dwarf with the corner advantage. Oh, mashing, mashing. Both players mashing, desperately finding a, re a reprieve from the other player's pressure. Oh, oh wow, they're again. so good at dashing under that. Well, i really showing some matchup knowledge. Trying to put him in the corner. Oh. Right. And Yorf doesn't Go choose correctly nope, after the BRC. That's happened twice so far. Izzy, you gotta hold away from the wall, even if they okay. think you're gonna put him through Huge. the wall. Okay. Huge. Huge. Alright. Locks the six, charge six H. And, and Yorf oh. manages to take it. Barely. With a compelling pressure sequence. Oh, that looked tough that to get out. That was really close. That was anybody's yeah. game. That was anybody's game. What a great showing from both players. Real nail biter. Both of them doing a really great job. You know, re both respecting the other player and disrespecting the other player, saying, you know what? I know that you're going to try to wait here. I know that you're going to try to press here, and I'm going to punish you for it. That was really, really brilliantly done. Man, that was hype. Heartbreaking, the, the. Yeah. You almost saw the comeback, but. Yeah, it's true. I think it I have a. I have a feeling we might see Plush Llama again in the future. Yeah. Something tells me. Something tells me. Oh, and we're already going to our next match. Sefferton versus Hawkeye. Next. Yeah, this is Milia versus Sin. Uh, definitely interested in seeing how both these players play this. This could be a really high-octane matchup. If the Sin player is really willing to engage and the Milia player, I mean, you know, Milia is high-octane for sure. So I'm curious to see how both these players are going to are gonna do. Letting the intro rock. Love to see it. Cry. I'm a big fan of the tournament set intro, you know? It just feels right. Take a second. Take some deep breaths. Focus in. Good track choice. Alright, the both players jump back, for playing very safe. Blocks the mix. Okay. Early First burst from the corner. Sefer. Oh, manages to find Oki. Oh, DP's right out of there. He's gonna Ooh. get punished though. Yeah, you know, Hotline opting to just go straight into knockdown for Okazeme. We'd rather get an air combo. Oh, whiffs the combo. Alright, Sefer turns turn finally. But then manages to just get put right back in there by Milia. And well done. First round. Great hotline. combo. Hotline you know, Hotline dropped that early that early air combo, which admittedly is a very hard combo to hit. And but managed to get a very nice combo that the with the Mirage cancel to uh, close out the round. Doesn't block the overhead and burst yeah. out of there. Oof. DP's gonna what keep a, him jailed. What a brutal DP. Alright. He's just again, but just a little too far, but he means back into it. Okay, wow. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> oh but unfortunately right they put themselves into the corner. And managed to get knocked down. Yeah, whoa, Sefferton's just Hell. pressing. Halt making speed. No meaty for you. Hotline's got some really good ideas, but I think they're overcomplicating the situations they're in. And Sefferton's gonna and take round two. Just lugging that low milia health. Yeah, it just do be that way. Hotline running up, really wanting to engage. Just run Sefferton all the way to the corner, but gotta block the overhead. Ooh, right. oh, counter hit. oh my goodness. But the second hit of heavy slash and hit. Great right. DP bait, huge combo. Nice Perfect. combo, nice combo. Oh. This combo Hotline's combo gain is good enough that if Oh, oh but yeah, punish it. no. You have to wait that one out. It's not like normal LTL. Oh man, Sephardin's gonna take the game because of that. Oh jeez.
You know, Hotline's got a really good conversion ability and a really good punish game. And if they're able to find more neutral openings and then convert off of that, I think they've got a really good chance. Uh, but unfortunately, it just seemed like whenever they did find a neutral opening, they it, it wasn't quite the one they wanted or or they weren't really able to, to get Sefferton in a position where they would capitalize. Stay. Yeah, yeah, just sit and block. Yeah, exactly. Dual one. Oh. Change the mirror of the world? Okay. Got their music on random. Not a bad choice. So. Counter hit DP, huge. Oh, but good mash, they know. And DP's again. Yeah. Uh, blocks the overhead. Okay, burst coming out. Okay. Yeah, that combo not really sticking the way that they wanted to. On their head, try to jump up to maybe grab him or something. Wow, blocks the overhead. Okay. Normal OP. Mixed. Nice. Okay. Great combo. Nice combo. All tries to run out, but he's gonna die for it. And Sefferton's put into the vortex, and Hotline just capitalizes. Well, well done. Ooh, that DP. Anti-air DP, we love to see it. Oh no. Hotline being a little too... Fighter. Yeah, Hotline's putting themselves a little bit too close into a distance where Sephardi can capitalize. Oof, yeah, jeez, that's brutal. Sephardi might be able to pick this one up here. Not blocked the overhead this time, and wow, take it. it. That's a good mix-up. That's a good mix-up, hitting the overhead into the, the step with the grab afterward. Early burst, get out. 6B clash. Oh my god, it's just super fast right. base. Look, They're pressing. Out, Gotta play Big a little bit safer now. That might be the last burst of the game. Oh, reversal RTL! And send it to the fall. Oh. Oh. Oh and my god, and Amelia Health betraying Hotline. Wow. Sefferton's pressure just is really difficult for Hotline to get out of. They're great at the mash, but, uh, you know, we didn't see them mash as frequently afterward, maybe because they weren't as comfortable with it. They didn't feel like they were getting as much as they wanted off of the punish. Uh, but that overhead and a grab mix-up is really doing work for Sefferton here. Yeah, Hotline... Let's see if Hotline can adjust. If Hotline can get... puts in the vortex, then it's all over, but Sefferton yeah, is just managing much. to counter poke way better, BPing all the times they try to go into the air. Yeah, and I, I think Hotline needs to be a little bit more patient so they don't put themselves right. Yeah. But I see them putting themselves in the neutral situations that are not benefiting them. Yeah, that's tough. You have to know that's coming. Oh, the fast RC. There it is again. Expecting the overhead. But I don't think you can go for overhead there. Oh, has Hotline's got their their blocking a little bit backwards. Good pickup. And he's out of stamina. And they, couldn't finish off the Milia. But there you go. Milia will take this round. Yeah, good combo. Early burst. That's great for Hotline. It's that same mix-up. Hotline needs to figure out a way to respond to that. Jeez. Yes. Run up DP. Okay. Hotline with an advantage here. The no mix mix. Oh yeah. Love to see it. And just a little too far away. Oh, to be manages to the miss their pickup. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, nice. Round going in Sefferton's favor. Hotline has to climb all the way back from round start again. Sefferton about to get burst back. Hotline's only halfway there. Oh, nice! Wait, the DP. Yeah, that was well done. Gets the burst out of him. Yeah, see, as soon as uh, Hotline is able to get an Oki situation, they are winning. But it. You know, they've got to navigate Sefferton's neutral first. Good good awareness there. Good awareness there to, to oh. hit confirm into the 
to to one four. Oh, eight. caught him back dash. Oh, but then got through the wall at least. So. Save a little Not bit pressing. of health. Doesn't have to deal with the positive bonus. Oh, but the overhead is too far away. Misses. They get a hit, but DP is not the right choice there. Separate and really wanting that run up DP, but Hotline went. I'm just gonna wait, see what you do, and then he ran. And they ran underneath. Hotline well putting one on the board. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I believe that's two one in favor of Hotline. So, can Sephardin respond? Can they bring it back to an even game? Dual an even match? Uh, no, Both I these players. I think it's Sephardin. 2 1. It's Sephardin online. up 2 1. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. It's just been super close. Like. Yeah, it's been super close. And I mean, like, like, I, like we predicted, this is a high octane set for sure. Both these players are really willing to go at it at every chance they have. Sefferton just running over Hotline this time. Yeah. Alright, but Hotline, Hotline responding. Yep. Put them through the wall. Get the hard knockdown. And is that safe? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Great RDL to close out the close out the round. DP getting caught by Capel, and let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, Severton knows not to DP there. I have to admit they're choosing their DP their uh, DP spots very nicely. The hotline, bringing it back. Severton got first on board. Will they save or spend it? Clashing with the DP. Got hit by the low, that's unfortunate. Uh oh. Hotline's got full meter, and that was not a good use of half of it, but man, stick around. Okay. Okay. Hotline's on the board. Can they win this last round? Very confident start. Hotline's, yeah, Hotline's trying to mash there and not getting it. Gets caught again, mashing. Trying to mash in between like the the like hits, which is like how you're supposed to deal with that sequence. But and, and Sefferton, Sefferton just... dominantly taking it. Hotline really put up a really good fight, though. But yeah, yeah, definitely put up a really good order. fight. You know, they just weren't able to to win neutral enough times, really. And and a lot of the Okazema situations that that they had were just beat by the DP. Frankly, and uh, that was just going to be be it for for them. But you know that both of these players put on a great showing. I mean, Hotline's combo ability is really impressive, and Sefferton's got a really good pressure game. So yeah, I hope to see both these players later on in the bracket. But we are now in round five, and we've got DB Zavi versus Dunium. Looks like they're both Kai players. The mm -hmm. most honest duel in all of Guilty Gear. Uh, but actually, uh, Dunium decided to switch. I don't know if this is their altar or their main. Oh, switch yeah. They, to Testament. Yeah, they also have a Testament in their Discord, but it's like they got the Kai profile picture, so I thought that's what they'd be doing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they don't like Choosing the to Kai avoid mirror. the mirror here, yeah. Oh, one fireballs. Alright, get hit, and but burst out of there. I don't want that stain suit. Get that shit off. Huge pick up. Arc, picks it up Bursting out is there. a good choice there. Sacred Edge, an ambitious choice. Choosing to oh my control goodness. neutral, but great teleport. Yeah, teleport to the fireball. Well, the first oh, is, but okay. does not catch the back that off. Oh, it's not quick enough to capitalize on the punish. Yeah, too far away. Or not fast enough. Good reaction. Oh. And Didn't wait till the projectile passed the through. Yeah, I need to wait till the projectile passes through to actually get that there. He's in teleport really aggressively. I only really see it when they're like far away, but he's like, throw the skull real quick, and teleport as soon as it's done. Run up testament six B is crazy. 
Both these players have an anti-air fight. Oh, oh, scum dippers right through it. Great stun dipper out. It's a good combo. Takes full screen. Oh my oh, goodness. Do they have the JD combo? Yes, they do. First right out. Save life. All right. PRC to not get hit by that arm. Oh, oh. teleport's fine, but. Zabi was ready. Zabi was ready. And they were, that was actually the second time we saw them ready for the teleport. So, uh, yeah, wow. Got some Great. good awareness. Yeah, good awareness from DV Zavi. Great showing. And, uh, you know, I mean, there were a lot of situations where Dunium had the advantage, uh, but they just weren't able to, to close it out enough. And, um, yeah, really curious to see how they're going to change up their game plan to, to take this next one. Oh, yeah. I should mention that DB Zavi is a long time, uh, well, maybe not a long time, but uh, a frequent band competitor and has been uh, putting on quite a show for us recently. So, I'm very excited to see if they're going to go far in this round. Awesome. Yeah, possible graduate. Yeah, definitely, definitely graduate material for sure. They haven't been for a while. Fine. Oh, Conditions them with the constant low arbor signs yeah. that bring, bring out the highs. Yeah. Oh, we'll pick up here. DP's right Excellent out of there, DP. though. Fireball of their own. Oh, that doesn't pick up off the stain state. Yeah, explosion. no pickup. No pick up, but it's fine. It worked out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, great combo from Zavi already at the wall break. Doing him at 50, under 50%. They need to be scared. Yeah, they. I was just gonna say they've got charge state. They need to be really scared. Oh my goodness! Even with the FD, this runs up. Great, through. perfect. Great, perfect from Zombie. Both almost have burst on deck. Final round. Zombie showing some good combos though. Oh man, this is a tough situation. This is almost a checkmate situation. Oh, and there it is. That's going to do it for Dunningham. And game two, with the double perfect, goes to Zavi. Sheesh. Will we see the switch here to Kai? Maybe, maybe. Maybe they're much more willing to play out the mirror. Maybe they should they should reevaluate whether or not the, the testament was the right choice. But uh, yeah, dominant showing from Zavi. Seriously. And we, yeah, we do see the swap to Kai, so we're gonna be seeing the Kai mirror. Most honest duel you could ever oh, yeah. see in Guilty Gear Strive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Zavi playing default, Dunium in the, the purple skin. Stun Dipper not able to convert for Dunium. There we do see it though. Oh, but they were late on their Oki. Oh, air DP? DKDP for real. Axel mains rise up. Air <laughs> Counter up works, but gets pushed out of there. Oh yeah. And this take around. Fireballs. Looking at a fireball war here. Feel each other out. Who do you manage to find a way in? Not oh good. <laughs> yeah, wow. He tries to hit the air approach with the air GP, but it's just not connect. Zavi's got him right in the corner again. Yeah, good idea. Oh, with the RC combo here. Oh, oh man, calls wow. The first. wow, what a call out. Just got it back to yeah, I mean, some that's kind of a uh, oh, dragon install. Dragon install. But, you know, that's the risk you. Uh, the, yeah, that's the risk you run when you get burst back at, and you want to spend it early. Is you, you know you risk getting blocked because they know you just got it. Oh, great choice. The buffed oh, dragon nice. install to win comeback. Yeah, game. the buffed special is doing a lot of work there for doing it. What a call out on round star DP. Yeah, I'm not sure on the exact like buffs. I know that just like more hits and stuff, but like it seemed like 
the charge fireball got to recover in time just enough yeah, to Yeah, the faster recovery, air. yeah. Oh, it gets hit by the charge dust. Will this be it? Dust combo Not won't kill, but air. but huge advantage for Zabi. They can afford to just play patiently. Oh, Ooh. and gets DP to take it. What a great DP, great awareness of of the, the of Kai's pressure game to be able to DP out of that. And uh, yeah, Zavi's gonna take it with a clean 30. Clean 3-0. Zero. zero, but Dunium was no slouch, taking a couple of rounds. And that was our round five. Last round five match. Let me pull up the bracket here. I think we're gonna do some losers matches now? Question mark. Let's see who's up next. Alright. As we wait for the tourney to catch up, let's just take a peek. Talk about the ladder. So you said that you're not going to be able to go to the ladder on Saturday? No, you know, I uh, I might be able to. I just don't know yet. I haven't looked. Right. I haven't looked. You know, I heard about it today, and uh, but it's definitely going to be a strong showing. Uh, it's an open event, so and if you're not familiar with the ladder format, you're basically going to sign up for games and you're going to play games and you're going to accumulate a score. Um, and so it's a great. It's a lot like a round robin or a Swiss event. It's a great way to just like. Honestly, kind of chill, play some games. Yeah, you know, if you have a good record, you end up going to, I think we're going to end up streaming uh, at least the bracket. we we'll probably stream some of the ladder matches too. Um, so you get an opportunity to just play a lot of games, play a lot of different players of different skill levels since uh, the ladders, uh, I think you typically play people with your rating. Um, yeah, like it, you're, it'll you're like eventually you. even out at first, yeah. you know. Yeah, but it's a it's a good time. It's a good time. I, I highly recommend it. You know, if you're going to be playing, two to five central, will, and then you know. a top four. So I might I might play a couple of matches, but I definitely won't be able to make the top four because like yeah, two to five know. central for me that's going to be like a twelve to three. So that's literally right before I go to work. Yeah, and I think what what's nice about a ladder format is it's very non-committal. Like uh, if it, if it still works the way that it, I. I, I works when I used to do them fairly regularly you just basically sign up and then you you say when you want to play and if you don't want to play you don't play it's that simple you just, just don't queue yep you just don't queue up um, so it's kind of like a cool MMR or not MMR but it's kind of like a cool matchmaking system and uh, I think it's if you're going to be playing anyway you might as well just play see how you do have a good time and uh, we'll be streaming the matches so maybe we'll get on stream maybe you'll say you know i got this got this game recorded you know i can see what the commentators said about my game i can send it to other people and uh i highly recommend joining so that's uh what was the time for that again Kawi? uh two to five central so two to five central this weekend saturday, saturday. the 26th of august top four um, afterwards so yeah so you come think out. you're gonna do real good and slot a little bit more time than that yeah, so come on, show your stuff. Uh, we also have our SF6 beginner bracket on this on Friday. Um, I'm let me. I need to double check on the time on that, but it's probably at the typical 7:30 Central. For that's typically when we host our tournaments. Um, so you know you can do the you can pull up the whole time zone calculator, figure out when that is for you, um, and then also, whoa, stacked weekend for us. We have an event every single day. Every day this weekend we have an event. If you thought it was patch season, you'd be right, because we're playing. Uh, <laughs> we also have the Grad Bash this Sunday. So if you uh, have not heard of this and you're a graduate of one of four tournaments, and that is BAN, if you're a BAN graduate. If you are a Hawkeye, uh, Captain Hawkeye's Beginner Beatdown Tournament. If you're a Hacker Man's Can't Hurt You uh, winner. and Or if you're a, I believe, a Weeb Cup winner. Yes. then you get to enter the Grad Bash, where it is a graduate-only tournament, which means that it's probably around your skill level if you've been playing still. And the competition is fierce. The bracket is good. And 
honestly, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that serious. Just come out and have a good time. If you're a graduate, if you're looking for more events that maybe, maybe you're like, you know, you've been entering TNS, you've been entering like other stuff and you're like, oh, these players you are so want, good. Yeah, you don't want to go into the deep end quite yet. Yeah, you play like, amongst man. players that are literally your skill level. Every literally. time I sign up for this event, I get matched against some guy with eight tags in front of their name. I don't want to deal with that anymore. <laughs> you know, just enter the grad bash. Assuming you're a graduate of a beginner bracket. And, uh, but enough about that. Enough about that. We're getting into our next match. It's Finicky Finn versus Intimidating. Uh, Intimidating, Intimidating is a name that I recognize. Uh, Kai player who's been doing quite well in our recent events uh, from week to week. Uh, Finicky Finn, I'm, I'm not familiar with. I don't know if they've joined uh, entered our brackets before. Have you seen their name before? I have not. Yeah, so... Uh, if it's their first time, props to them for making it to this point. Uh, if it's their not, uh, if it's not the first time, then good job on making it this far um, and, and getting better. Another but default being here with that. Yeah, you know, Kai players love the default skin. You notice that? They just, they just love their... Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I think they just say, uh, you know, Kai fans worldwide love the default skin. Uh, intimidating with a really strong pressure sequence and, and good responses to uh, whatever Finicky Finn is trying to put out. And we'll take Finn the first, first round. round. Yeah, both players keeping their burst, which is uh, a good strategy. The the don't spend burst on round one strategy is a pretty solid one, I gotta say. So here we say intimidating spend it. Alright, now we can see a geo pressure. No burst to get out of this combo. Good to see a super wall break. That's very important for the Oki. You gotta, you gotta get the Oki especially, here. Especially for Gio. Yeah. Be able to stay in and keep pressure going. Perfect. And Finicky, Firing Finicky. right back. Perfect. Yeah, saying, you know what? You don't make me bleed my own blood. That's not right. In and out. Finicky Finn patiently poking at Intimidating. But Intimidating finds a, a, an opening. Two openings, in fact. Feeling each other out. Gum Dipper does not connect with second hit. Ooh, there we get another one. The big RC combo. This is huge. It's going to take a Through the wall. Break. Wow. I didn't think it was going to wall break. Alright, BRC in, but he jumps away to not get hit by that. It's not kill. And now he's we go. You know, the special move into special move is a true combo sometimes. I gotta be honest with you. Gotta be honest. And it was right there. So Intimidating taking uh, game one. Both players putting up a really good fight though. That, that you know, I gotta say, Finicky Finn with the perfect in round two, looking pretty strong. So if I was Intimidating, I'd be I'd be scared, you know. I, I'd try to respect this player as much as I could. Can't give either of them the chance to get in. So I don't know if uh, either player really needs to make a significant adjustment to the to the way that they're playing, but I definitely think that you know when you get an opportunity, you have to capitalize on it. Both players are playing neutral very respectfully, trying to find honest openings. Can't blame honest them for that. Honest opening, honest footsies. Yeah. Super honest footsies, which is uh, maybe not what Guilty Gear is known for. To be fair, not known for grounded based footsies. Ooh. Finicky Finn manages to get hit by the last yeah. moment of this Fudra arc. Wow, and uh, Intimidating converts it into a Ed. into a kill. Kills, jeez. Wow. The very, like, Feast or Famine sort of games we yeah. got going on here. Yeah, seriously, a dominating perfect again. One player just gets the ball ro rolling, doesn't stop. Finicky Finn looking a little bit unsure as to how to approach. A burst is going to come out here. Burst out, though. Excellent. DP's out of that pressure. I don't want yeah, to be here. Excellent, excellent DP out of the tiger pressure. Ooh, ooh. Stun Dipper into RC Stun combo. Stun Dipper RC, the, the Kai classic. Does not want to die though. Got to burst out of there. Now, I'm surprised we're not seeing as many um, in these neutral situations. I'm surprised we're not seeing as many spiral arrows out of Finicky Finn. Although Intimidating has yeah. changed up their playstyle, not going for as many projectiles. RCs. It's a compliment. Catches the back dash. Big counter hit. And 
Oh, but not enough damage to kill. Oh, oh comes wow. back from the brink to take yeah. the second round. What a comeback. That was beautiful. Never give up. Intimidating with the first opening here. Are they going to hold on to it or let it go? Oh, Dash is right out Finicky of that Finn manages to find a way out. Just <laughs> jumping right around his head. Yeah, wow. This is a jumpy game. Oh, wait. Finicky Finn with a big whiff punish. Under the fireball. <laughs> Honestly, oh I did not God. know that, that worked that way. Honest That's Geo crazy. gameplay. Average Geo Chaden for 2D moment. Fire scene. But just back dash is playing it safe. Big whiff punish. Will they come back from the break Another again? Another big whiff punish. Round. Crosses up. Hits him with the counter. JD. And oh, just the... gets out of the throw. Punish it. Yeah, that was a. Great VRC from from intimidating. Intimidating taking the second game, but Finn is just nipping at the heels. Not letting go almost without there. a fight. Yeah, almost there, almost there. These are all close, close games. If they could just find that that little bit more little bit more, they'd be taking it. Let's see if they can find it. I think they can. I think they can. They've got the conversion ability for it. Yeah, just a They're little winning. more spiral arrow. Like, you don't got to be jumping around think... fireballs. You can just spiral like this, spiral arrow through. I think they're a little bit willing to let. I think they're a little bit too willing to let intimidating play when they have options to. There we go. Not play they heard play. me. Amen. Take my energy. The pressure in the sequence. corner. Gotta, you gotta be careful. That ends your pressure. Hitting each other, putting each other full screen, but Tim Davis is gonna double jump in, burst out. Yeah. Doing it again. RC combo. Seen that one a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Stun Dipper RC is so consistent. Oh, oh and they managed to get it. hit. Jeez. You don't like to see that. Always feel oh, wow, serve, great six P. Fudarak wow. catches the back dash, gets hit by Fudarak again. Just jumping in his face. Yeah, intimidating, insistent on just winning RPS over and over again. Right, good jump. But Finn says, and actually, I'm gonna win RPS. Intimidating, trying to press, big punish here. Oh, but drops the combo. RC does not pick it up again. And suddenly, Intimidating has the corner. Has to spend PRC to keep themselves safe. Oh, oh with the gold burst. burst. Finicky Finn on the on a razor's Don't edge here. Meter. Don't die with that meter. You worked so hard for it. Trying to just chip him out with fireballs. Oh, and, and Intimidating is going to take it. Oh, that was so tense. Thought Finicky Finn was catching up, and Intimidating uh, was just getting the downloads complete to take. I the thought so too. Round two zero. But Intimidating had some clever air movement to cons and, like consistently had clever air movement yeah. to keep themselves out of harm's way, and in, and Finicky Finn just wasn't able to find a way to punish it properly. Quite literal, close three zero. Yeah, very close three zero. Very close three zero. Super close to Rio. So that's going to be... Let me check the state of the bracket here. Am I pulling out a loser's game for y'all? I think we're just going to take a stream break here. Yeah, so I, I want to wanna plug again. the. So we mentioned before I was talking about the Grad Bash. That's this Sunday. And uh, let me check the time on that up here. Time on that is 4 p.m. I think that's Pacific, so that would be 6 p.m. Uh, Central. And like I said, if you're a graduate of any of the four tournaments I mentioned, uh, go for go for that. Be here. Uh, we've also got a poll. Uh, we recently just finished our LAN, our Strive LAN event. So we've got our a poll one. that I yeah I, we've got a poll that I think closes after this event on whether or not we should host a an SF6 LAN event. Um, so definitely, I think, check that out. Uh, it, there's a, a command for it in the stream. Um, Gus it is probably already hitting that for me. Yeah, there it is. 
Oh, it's close. Oh, yeah, dang. Close dang. Uh, shout out to the patch notes. Scammed. They're totally out. Totally go to Arxis right now and look it up. It's totally there, guys. Yeah, in fact, you should actually tell everyone you know, including your local I'm gonna your, your local DDoS bot to go to the Arxis website and I'm gonna start reading the them notes. off right now. Um <laughs> Axel Lowe has been removed from the game. Two little people play him, so we thought we should just stop developing him at all. So we just removed them. Wow. In insane change to the metagame. In change insane change to the metagame. Uh you know, I'm really curious to see how things are gonna evolve without our favorite center <laughs> in the video game. Uh, very curious to see how that's going to happen. Uh, oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, you're right. There's one thing I forgot to mention. We do have a Johnny only bracket next Tuesday, so I th believe that's in place of our traditional, of our traditional uh, beginner bracket uh, or open event. We'll be having a Johnny only bracket. Uh, so you know that will be uh, come out with your strongest day five Johnnies, day four Johnnies, and uh, show us what you got. Show us what you Burrito got. Show us that just... you too can throw cards and hit people really hard you know i want to see your tk your tk vault into tk card toss into tk sword slash like hit me with your hardest stuff i'll be there will you burrito is just licking his lips right now uh it's That's, next yeah. is that next tuesday i might i don't know That's i'd have to buy tuesday. johnny and i don't really have any interest in actually playing them so uh, dang Dang, it's like that. It's like that. I did. I, this is an event you have to pay for. I, I should have said you something. Have, yeah. I should have mentioned that. Paid you do entry. have to pay. You don't have to pay us, but you have to pay Arc System Works for this event. So uh, kind of awkward. But uh, you know, if you do end up paying for the for the character, uh, go for it. You know, it, it is only like a. I think it's you know you know you're staying. You gotta look. We have to pay a tax for our dopamine, and that's the tax. I'll just be honest with you. That is it. There's no escaping it. So if you do pay the dopamine tax, come play in the dopamine event, and uh, we'll see. I hope to see you there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take a, a couple minutes for break here. We're gonna wait for uh, things to catch up to us, and uh, we'll be back very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. to the 
curb. Keep those bastards to the curb. Don't try to compare it to anything. Rock, rock, rock and roll, rock, 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 rock and roll, rock. Rock and roll, rock out, man! Please. 
I hate Arkansas. Welcome back, every. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the bra the patch notes trauma has already hit Kawi. Kawi is down that bad. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I'm upset too. But welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're here for the ban beginner bracket top eight. Uh, we're gonna start off in winners semis. Our first match of the night is gonna be Sefferton, the Sin player we saw earlier in the bracket in our game versus, or in their game, sorry, versus Hotline versus Smalls, who we saw earlier versus uh, Andy. So All everybody get ready. Faces. Yeah, familiar faces this time around. Um, and we will uh, jump into this match shortly. But uh, yeah, I hope you all are reveling in the patch notes that have come out in the pat in the last 10 minutes <laughs> while we were on break uh Kawi, do you want to give some deeper thoughts other uh, beyond what you just said um like overall it's kind of weird that they're like we're nerfing all command the board like that's an interesting way to nerf the damage overall i guess same with like supers interesting um I, I don't know how to feel about Axel, because it's like, I, they, it's just like typical patch notes where it's just like, reduce horizontal blowback distance, like, what does that mean? What does that really mean? Does that mean you remove my safe yeah. jump? Because if you did, I'm, I'm probably dropping Axel forever, it's over, my career is over. Oh, yeah. You know? I don't get fake pressure. Sometimes you just have to, you know, they say the best among us, the best athletes, the best competitors, adapt and overcome. So, you know, maybe you just need to learn a different character and that'll... Yeah, exactly. I the, adapt and overcome. But it's yeah, yeah. So, you know, hey, if that's how you want to go about it, then power to you. I, I also may need to adapt and overcome 
uh, considering that uh, the character I play got slammed into the ground. So we will just we'll have to wait and see. We have to wait till uh, I think a Friday, and uh, you know to really know, really know the the gravitas of these changes. But yeah, it's looking interesting. It's looking like things are being shaken up. Uh, burst goes full screen. That is going to be fun. It's going to be fun to get bursted, and then like to burst the other player back. You know, yeah. that's going to be exciting. Um, I wonder if there is like some level of horizontality to the hitbox that you can just not get hit by it. But hey, I mean, maybe it's just everywhere. It just turns the entire screen into a hitbox. That's kind of crazy. Nerf Satchel, by the way. I don't want to deal with your. That does nerf. I don't want to deal with rent and pressure. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, <laughs> that, that that's a pretty interesting way to, to look at this. I hadn't really thought about how this affects zones. Like one, the one thing Axel had is that at least if you were far away from him, his combos were burst safe. But now I'm, just, nah, I don't want to. Yeah, I zoning becomes really weird now, huh? Yeah, what an interesting change. Kind of, this kind of does feel like a situation where the devs were like, I don't know, let's just. Screw with them and see what they happy, think. Yeah, happy Chaos is really bad, so let's just make fucking burst full screen. Don't give a shit about the other characters. Well, let's not worry that yeah. you can just cancel a stance at any time, just block it anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad we can all be united under the collective doom that is Arc System Patch Notes. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. We're a Doomer podcast for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some, there is good in there. I know, like, you know, Milia players are eaten right now, and, uh, there's a couple other characters that I know are feeling pretty good about these changes, but it's kind of interesting. It's like a lot of reworks, a lot of nerfs, and some characters who have been really underrepresented are getting some pretty significant buffs. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen to the overall landscape of the character matchups uh, after this. Um, we still don't know how good Johnny is, frankly. We don't know. We don't know. And was he designed to fit into the new changes? Well, maybe. We'll see. You know, we'll see. <laughs> We will see. So yeah, we are we're just waiting on another player here, uh, eager to see how they how they represent themselves in top eight. <clears throat> but um, you know, if you uh, if you aren't gonna play Axel, who are you gonna play, Kawi? Axel, I'm, I'm like a beaten housewife. I'm just gonna crawl back in. That's crazy. There's no there's no, there's no Ooh, escape. That's. I, That's a metaphor. Hey man, okay. I played Potemkin. I played Faust. I played, I played uh, Zato. I played Asuka. I'm just gonna come crawling back. There's no escape for me. Yeah, you know, you know how. Yeah, you know. I tried to run like, away so. and I just get command grab back to where I was. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, no rift. The tournament is not over. We're just waiting on Sefferton uh, to to get into the, the, the lobby to start their match. Uh, we've just been discussing the patch notes uh, while we wait, uh, which I think you have, if you have not seen them, you can see them on the Arc System Works website. Oh, my controller vibrated. I think Sefferton's here, coming up to the podium now. So, uh, Kawi, what do you, what to you is like the standout, uh, uh, not system mechanic change, but the system, the standout character change. From what you've seen so far, yeah, Rift hash nuts are out. Like I said earlier, like it's just classic arc system patch notes. Where it's like, what does this mean, though? Like, what does this? Yeah. What does this actually mean? Like, I can kind of understand what it is supposed to do, but you know, it's not like we adjusted it by like two pixels or whatever. It's like right. just like for example. Increased active frames, which by the way, Winter Terrors are some super active already. I don't know why they added them. Well, you all just have to find out how many active yeah. frames. Maybe it's just one. Into the match, but, uh, though. Speaking of active frames, we've got some active frames showing up on the screen here. And uh, Sefferton getting a nice counter hit into an RC combo. Oh, man, it's just to drop it, though. I'm going for that classic overhead grab mix-up. Kill. Taking round one with a huge perfect. Huge perfect. Oh, showing that, that smalls may not actually be as big as they appear. Alright, buddy. <laughs> Great grab. And do a wall break combo. The wall. Wow. Opting for a fairly low damage wall break mode. Oh. But uh, that's fine. DPs do like the hammer fall, but like the, when it like 
pits. That was a really good routine. Small's just choosing to get the heck out of there. Oh. Ooh, oh Shepherding getting caught, God. but yeah, Small's didn't know I how to convert. By betray from <laughs> And a pretty uh pretty dominant round one from Sefferton. <laughs> the the right. late start the late show up into slay your opponent going kinda hard right now. Going kind of crazy. Kinda crazy. Yeah, so Smalls is gonna need to make some significant changes to uh beat out the dominating pressure coming out of Sefferton. Oh yeah, looking at Sin's badges, he got a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, great Potemkin Buster. I don't know if they managed to DP, but... Tries to go for, for it again, but not falling. Yeah, down. yeah, Sefferton correctly jumping out. Trying to burst, bait that first, but... I'm not giving it. I'm on the okay. first. Oh, oh, nice. oh, the cla the Smalls classic. Hammerfall armor into PRC, Potemkin Buster. And the Sefferton classic with the DP. Oh, oh yeah, great you, burst point. Burst or you're going to die oh. there. And Hammerfall just going to slam him out. Wow, Hammerfall one out. <laughs> Tries to go for round start 6H. Trying to clip him at the start. He's going to go through the wall for that. Back move fast. Smalls on the defense. Correctly stuffing Severton out, but Severton knows, you know, I could just run up DP. And you're toast. Rap. Oh my oh. goodness. Casting Rising lands. The Potemkin Buster hit there? Right, so he's loving our. Oh, but doesn't punish the in between, so he's yeah. gotta be safe. The follow up is very plus. Really tries to wait for that burst, but Smalls manages to do it at the right time. Bit of a hero burst though, as he's Ooh, nine, drop nine combo into grab. Later. Yeah, that's pretty smart to go for a reset there. Hit him with the block. Smalls, yeah, great read or reaction to the jump. And Severton with a huge pickup here. Probably going to continue this all the way. Yeah. Ooh, gonna get hit by the low. But doesn't wall break with super. He tries that armor again, but he's just saying, nah, I'm DP. Yeah, the DP is just crushing that move. Got it, just block! Please, they don't break the wall with super, not netting the kill, giving oh, Smalls some wins. kind of room. But here, but what is going to happen here? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, dang, he didn't even get hit by it. He just went right through it. Start up in vulnerability. It's going to be 2 0. -oh. And that's, uh, yeah, 2 0 -oh for Severton. That's okay, Grim, you know? Okay, they're here now. That's what matters. They're here now, and they're they're putting on a great show. <laughs> All right, Small's on the ropes here. Severton on match point. Severton's got, or Small's got to come up with a different system to to keep Severton out, and Severton gets in. Gonna jump right over it though. Now it's fine, but it's not going anywhere. Oh, wow. This wall breaks might be it. Oh, it just got to kill straight up. All right. That okay. just killed straight up. That's crazy. I guess it was raw, but still, damn. And small Trying to predict the overhead, but it's going to get blown up by the... Uh, yeah. Not reacting to the, the step, but instead choosing to react to the thing before the step and therefore getting hit by the low. And Severed is just all over Smalls right now. And the classic. Oh, the Smalls classic right there. They're so good at hitting that. It's very consistent. Nice little pickup. Uh oh. Severed and air dashes in over the over the slide head and takes it. Look at that possible match point here. Yep. Falls right in. Armor Ooh. clad fate. Bad situation for Smalls, getting picked up twice by the low. He's got no stamina though, so he's got to be a little bit careful here, or he can just go right in with RTL. Okay. And... Oh! Unbelievable, right, Duncan right Buster. 
Oh, oh wow. no! But that super is not good enough to be able to counter that move Doesn't on wake up. That he bursted though, so has a chance for a comeback here. Oh, it gets hit by the no. low again. Yeah, Sefferton's picking him up, and that's going to be a clean 3-0 by Sefferton. Small's going to have to head to the lower bracket and climb their way back from there. Which I think they can do if they, uh, you know, pull it together. I think there Sefferton. there is an opportunity. Sefferton having a good showing so far tonight. Yeah, very dominant games from Sefferton. 3-1 and then a 3-0. Yeah, very, very dominant. Um, look like, uh, you know, they're going to go on to winner's final and uh, fight the winner of our next match, which is gonna be Zabi versus Intimidating, another potential Kai Mirror, and uh, two well-known ban competitors, two well-known Kai players in our, in our community. I'm very curious to see which one of them is going to come out on top. You know, Zavi has a lot of experience, but Intimidating has been a constant threat over the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Has reached this <coughs> position multiple times. So we just have to wait and see which one of them is going to have the edge. Which one of them knows the mirror better? And I think both of these players play a little bit differently. I think Intimidating yeah. is, a, is a pretty aggressive player, whereas Zavi, I think, is a little more fundamentally focused. Um, or maybe Intimidating will, will change it up, change up their style to play a little bit more neutral to respond to what Zavi's got going on. Oh. Oh. On the stand and off the stand. Yeah, we seem to be seeing an avoidance of the of the mirror match from Kai players tonight. Although, I'm surprised that we're seeing so many Kai players. Oh, no, nope, there it is again. Like but I think actually, if I think about it, out of all the characters who graduated from Ban, I think there are a lot of Kai players, if not mostly Kai players. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, a great beginner character if you're learning the game. A good a, a good way to get your get your fundies down. Figure out what's going on. And we're having the fi classic fireball war here. They're just trying to feel each other out. Yeah, it looks like it. In the first actual hit. Burst Strong the burst corner. from Zavi. Intimidating Take finds a way out. He's playing very mm. safe. Don't want to go too crazy, I guess. Yeah, Zavi's lots of patience that from opening, both players. Though. RC to cover up the recovery to punish. Finally, Usher's first, but jumps over the Sacred Age. Ooh, good air to air from Zavi. Manages to get corner advantage with good Oki. He's right out there. Lots of patience from both yeah, these players. Yeah, they're really. Kind of situation. Maybe this is why they don't like playing the matchup. <laughs> run each other over. Turns into jumping and fireball. But Zavi with the 50 meter manages to connect a stun dipper and is going to take it after the conversion. So now we've got Intimidating down around here. Looks like Zavi is starting to kind of get a feel for what Intimidating wants to go for. Yeah. It's kind of like watching pressure. two marks. They're like at a range of their swords. They don't want to get hit. Yeah. It's just swinging it. Ooh, and a great connection. Good hit confirm. But Zavi drops a combo. And Intimidating, not, oh intimidating not confident enough to pick up after that connected. Zavi with burst, but choosing not to spend it, probably wisely. Saving it for game three. Oh, Intimidating. And Zavi's very good with these air to airs. Oh, that hit reverse! Oh, oh no, they burst before the RC came out. Take so they it all the way across react. the screen to a wall break. Living on by a pixel, though. Yeah, living on a dream. <gasps> and RC is going to catch. And it'll probably kill. Oh, wow. no, it's too far away from no, the wall no, break. No. Never mind. 
Wow, a bo brave burst. A oh, brave and burst, but I mean, yeah, it takes. Worked out for him. Yeah, the, oh, that was a One, brave zero. choice, but I think in that situation, it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. And Zavi's up game one. 1-0 one -oh over intimidating. Yeah, like we, both these players, I guess, ended up playing very similarly, having a similar way to approach the mirror. And uh, it's kind of just whoever gets the first hit, and especially whoever gets the first hit with 50 meter, really yeah. seals the deal here. We mentioned that Zavi is playing default Kai. Wow, intimidating is playing denim Kai. These jumps really doing a lot of work for intimidating, but leaving them pretty exposed. I'll try to spell out the burst, but does not come wow. out. Use his own in retaliation. <laughs> a nice wow. little so 2k loop. to 8 never seen that combo before. I've never seen that before either. Classic Kai combo coming out here for intimidating. Both players on the ropes. Now, intimidating has to be very careful. It's hard to keep track of them too, they're both very yeah. similar colors. The overhead does connect after the RC, that was smart to spend it there. It's fireball, Need fireballs. Not fireball. Intimidating finds a significant way in, and a big neutral opening too. Ooh, good knockdown. But being a little ambitious with the, with the Fuger arc. Use the burst as soon as it comes back. Intimidating, not realizing the stun up is about to Classic. come out. Getting hit. Corner. Burst is back on board. But. And this should do it for intimidating. Yep, nice. there we go. Final round. Alright, nice counter. Huge counter hit. The oh, the last hit doesn't connect. Oh, but the reset! Again. Yeah, but it worked out in Intimidating's favor with the reset. They ended up getting the overhead for Okazeme. Oh, and Zavi's probably getting a little frustrated now. These simple, simple jump mix-ups doing a lot of work for Intimidating. I'm using that burst since it came back on board. Oh! Bro thinks he's dragging. He's falling off. Oh, no way! And Intimidating is going to... Take it! What a sick way to end that game. Oh my goodness. A very, very confident, a confident dragon install pressure sequence from Zavi, but Intimidating says, oh no, 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 that's not gonna fly here. And hits him with the ride lighting on wake up to secure it. Very well done. Very well done. All right, so far dragon install is one for one. For as it should be, as it should be, you know. Very risky. Yeah. Intimidating, saying, fire. "I'm just gonna try to play this safe style. I like the way that my jump ins net me like hits. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, but the Fuja arc is a great choice to catch somebody jumping like this. I think it, Intimidating picked a better way to burst than Zavi. Most likely. But the wall to ride the lightning. Hard knockdown. Run up, do a little 5k action. Tries to throw, but he's oh, too wow. far away. Intimidating correctly responding to the potential tick throw with a full combo. And now he's throw. Gonna throw. Has to be careful about. Oh, wait, connected! Living on by just a little bit, but he's got full meter. Using it right away, trying to. Oh, no! And that's dead. Oh man, Intimidating almost had it, but Zavi managed to connect a, a stray stun dipper with meter and convert. Big counter hit here. No Oki. Oh, and Intimidating had the timing right, but his move missed. Uh oh. Gets back to after get yeah, gets caught by the dust. Tries to bait the burst, but Intimidating is like a brick wall saying, I will not burst. Oh, but then he bursts for that. Thanks. Burst Here we go. As soon as it comes back, classic zone. Air throw. Air throw? Oh, oh no. The but out of the pressure. No punish on the DP is huge. They're going back to neutral here, not what Intimidating wants. 
Oh, but can't manage to Maybe he does. Huh? Catch him back there to the arc. But the combo's not going to uh -oh. finish. Has to be very careful. And <laughs> what very, a smart very DP. Super smart DP from Zavi. And now this is Zavi, Zavi up 2-1. Two two one. One. Yeah. Zavi on match, uh, match point here. They're going right back into it. Going right back into it. And Timidiving is going to need to change up their play style because their, their jump-ins have been getting baited, stuffed. stuffed, or missing. So Zavi's adjusting correctly. First and early. We're back fireball. to our favorite fireball interaction. Intimidating minutes being the one that gets hit here. But Zavi doesn't manage to capitalize this of charge state. Right now, oh. Zavi charging in charge state with the food arc, but Intimidating's yeah. gonna tell him to back off that first. And Intimidating is we playing very well around. Oh, the DP's barely gonna lick his forehead. YRC, I don't want none of that. Oh, oh great nice stuff by Zavi. Yeah, great choice. Great choice. Intimidating needs to make Jumping a little bit more of off of these. Okay. Gray situations. Like that. Yeah. And now they need to play around the meter. But they managed to get air thrown, and that's going to take the round for Zavi. So now yeah, Zavi's right on that round. Too. Yeah. You know, Tim Davey knows that Zavi loves his PRC or Thumb Dipper PRC. Tim Davey looking like they are kind of low on confidence. Not sure how to follow up off of that with his MA situation. I'll press the DP right out of there if it's punished. Zavi. Oh, oh wow, what a great PRC to cover the burst. And Zavi looks like on the rope and handled. goes with a risky stun dipper. Oh, tries to throw, but it was a little too early. Okay, Abare. <laughs> great PRC. Oh, wow. Right. At the la <laughs> yeah, in the, in the nick of time, Zavi's going to burst here. Intimidating needs to know that Zavi's going to burst anytime they get hit in these situations. Yeah, uh, but just... Zavi's going to close it out. Intimidating, like, however, is not done yet. He will be again, sent down to losers for a chance yep. at the championship. Yep. yep, so intimidating intimidating can claw their way back. They're going to end up playing Yorf in losers. And uh, our next match is going to be Cinda versus Shadow Gecko, which is our first losers round one game. And uh, we haven't seen either of these players play yet. So, I'm very curious. Game. Yeah, I'm very interested to see. Uh, it's Nagoriyuki versus Bridget. And let me just check something out here. Let me look at each of these players' journey to the bracket if Star GG would work for me. God. Goryuki versus Bridget is a classic top tier matchup that we've been seeing a lot of lately. If you've been watching, uh, if you've been watching any professional strive, yeah, Shadow Gecko making quite a convincing losers run from round three losers. Cinda, Cinda making a similar run. Both of these players managed to win their round one uh, and were sent into losers. Shadow Gecko knocking off both Burnside and Dunium, which we both saw earlier too. We did see bo both of them. Two great players, so Shadow Gecko certainly has the capability to, to make it further in the bracket here. Uh, I'm Cyndaquil find... too, knocking out Hotline, Pride, and Finicky Finn. We saw oh, wow. Yeah, two, f two uh, other players we saw earlier in the bracket, in the in the upper bracket. So yeah, both these players are, are, are putting on some, or have some convincing wins. Um, and so I'm very curious to see what they're gonna what they're gonna show to us. <laughs> Just waiting for the players to start here. Read up on my patch notes and my homework. Just don't look, man. I'm looking at it. It's like it's like anxiety. Right. It's like ang it's like anxiously checking your text message. 
I just want to point out. Text messages for your beloved, you know, it's just not going to work out. It's not, they added there's no more, text. They added more active frames. This move already had 10 active frames. They're like, nah, that needs more. This guy losing his mind over here. I am losing my mind. Well, let's check out the active frames that are about to be on screen. Uh, because we've got Shadow Gecko versus Cinda. Shadow Gecko on Bridget, Cinda on Nagoriyuki. Uh, both of these players looking like they have the capability to take it further in the bracket. <clears throat> Letting the intro rock. Those gold eyes go pretty hard. Be sure to pay up if I win, okay? And the razor gloves. I didn't even realize she had the neon razor gloves. The RGB. Both trading right at the start. 5k nation. Both players getting successful pokes but not converting. Pressure sequence from, from Bridger now. Ooh, goes for the empty for the low off the FRC. And now Nagoriyuki gets started. But loses out the combo. Oh, and the blood burst here. This is bad. Okay, it's a throw, I guess. But throw is good. Throw is good here. Yeah. Throw is good because you just let the you let the hit points drain and then you run Oki afterwards. So I think that's a good choice. Oh wow. Tricky situation. Choosing to go not continue their pressure after the jump in instead getting caught by the very these back dash. This leads to a full combo from Cinda into a wall break. Signed away from Shadow Gunner. Great pressure. Cinda clearly doesn't know how to respond. And Shadow Gunner is going to take them right back through the wall. Uh oh. Getting a counter hit with 50 100 meter there. Yeah, that was the end of that. Starting to start off with 5k. I saw that blood sucking move. Can't fool me. Ooh, great 6 speed. Oh, they're, they're slugging it out. Yeah, it doesn't fully stuff the pressure sequence, but almost. Oh, the 5k doing so much work here. Tries to wire C out. Cinda mashing. Return to neutral. Shadow Gecko doing Cinda's everything they can to find a way blood. in. Gonna go into level two. Choosing to spend burst careful. here. Actually. Uh oh. Oh, misses it. oh, great back dash. Can they convert into a. Oh, they mess up the. They mess up the roll. Uh, the. Kickstart my heart. Oh, but Plus, it doesn't matter. It's a game. That was such a scary drop there from Sin from Shadow Gecko. Yeah. Missing the kickstart my heart made they did, means they got very little off of that knockdown situation. But uh, they did a great job navigating the, the remainder and the, the scraps of the Rokuzeme. Getting right back into it. So that was a pretty convincing game from Shadow Gecko, although it was back and forth. Um, but I, I think that Cinda spent a lot of time waiting, trying to figure out when exactly they could get in, and, and the openings they got were off of kind of kind of stray Abare. That was yeah. pretty pretty random. Didn't seem very all Cinda's that calculated. Cinda's spending the blood a little bit too freely, I'd say. Yeah, great Bridges choice to, to roll that. over the 2S. <clears throat> Both these characters have excellent backdashes, and Shadow Gecko is putting Bridges to full use. Gonna get a full combo here. I I. I have to block that high multiple times. Oh, Backdash getting caught. Just gonna super jump in. That same low mix up. Oh, and what a mash from Cinda converting into a whole combo. Wow, OTG wall. OTG wall spat. That's incredible. And gets hit oh. by the yo-yo. <laughs> the yo-yo doing tons of work here. It is important that you treat that as a projectile sometimes. You just say, okay, I'm just going to throw this, and if it hits you, you're going to take some damage. You just react to like the two extra frames he active yo-yo. Sendo with a convincing lead. Oh. 
getting hit by the 2H. Jumping right in. In the corner. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fake. Uh, uh, charge dust. I think you're going to go high and then you're going to high again. Empty jump charge dust. on the pressure in the corner. Who eventually tries Ooh, to press excellent. to get out. Burst get block. Full super through wall. Looking pretty bad for Cinder right now. What is Cinder gonna do to get out of this? Oh, they bar just slash, mad slash. bar slash. Oh, and yet oh. again, Trickster <clears throat> Bridget. You know, they haven't blocked it once, so they're just gonna keep doing it. FRC and, uh, Low is gonna do it. Uh, that is a that's a tricky combo a tricky sequence to block that's for sure for sure but you have to know it's coming you had to you got to make the the adjustment you just gotta block right bro yep <laughs> so hopefully the next time that comes around cinda blocks it it's gonna but maybe it. maybe shadow gecko is already gonna move to to layer two here Both hitting with five. <laughs> uh, yeah, both like players a, just trading oh, blows. A little too early. Wow. Like Sucking universe. I'm gonna get back thrown to the corner. First out of there. Higher yeah, Cindy doesn't block pressure. multiple hits. Cindy doesn't block and multiple hits the high. Jumps right over the far slash. Oh, there we go. There we Recognizing go. Recognizing the FRC low. And baits oh, the bird. Oh, great block. Just yeah. Cindy showing. Great. Oh no, but they missed Great. their meaty. Playing very patiently, just gonna oh. block. Effectively. Just yeah, got a got a counter hit. Oh, classic Fukio back in the favor. Scary situation for Cinda, they were turned around there. Excellent like pressure patiently? from Shadow Gecko, but yeah. yeah, Cinda knows I'm just gonna hit 5k, that's a great move. Oh, great counter hit starter here. Oh, oh but they dropped drops their combo. It. That's a lot of blood. Oh, barely managed to the blood sucking in first. Wire sees not one deal with that. Understandable. Cinda needs to stay careful. Stay safe. Cinda, great blocks. Block. And the 6p. Yeah. Oh, but no Just. conversion and the trade seals it. Great adaptation by Cinder. Yeah, excellent adaptation. Excellent adaptations. Bringing this to a 2-1. Uh, still in favor of Shadow Gecko, but Cinder showing a, huge signs of life. Huge signs of life. Yeah. I'm not out yeah. of here yet. No, not at Last all. Last chance here. Not at all. Not at all. So let's see if they can keep it up. Both these players clearly know their characters well and the opponent's character well. Cinda correctly reacting to the pressure sequences, saying, you know, calling out the sequence, the parts that are unsafe, saying, "I'll oh, 5k here, I'll 6p there." And now it's Shadow oh, Gecko's turn to respond. But yeah, that's a bold burst that just doesn't turn out in their favor. Early on, though, might not be too bad. Then. Again, recognizing the FRC in the low. Great and burst block. Very volatile match so far. Oh! oh. PRCs, but doesn't recognize the startup frames. Yeah, wow. Does effectively nothing and gets hit. Shadow, Shadow Star Gecko starting to really delay their pressure, trying to catch Cinda playing. Working in Rock the or baby. Pressing. Not, all right, there we go. Layer two activate. Now we, they're going FRC high. Oh, uh oh. Baits the reversal. Or ne never mind. Nago's got a big ass sword. <clears throat> this is bad for Shadow Gecko. That was so far away too. I but guess they ended their pressure. I guess Nago was at level two. That's crazy. And I think this is gonna do it. Oh, Nago's got that big jump. Oh, great blocks, but they didn't Locking manage to block the low. Just brutal pressure. Shadow Gecko just, yeah, feeling themselves saying, you know, I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth. Huge counter hit starter, but there's no confirm. Doesn't matter. Go to the wall with the, with the super. 
excellent super wall break here. Shadow Gecko's got first on deck, but Cinda full HP. Full hit points. No blood. And that's honestly fine. You can get hit by that burst all you want. And yep. yeah. the cl Shadow Clone is going to connect and let Cinda, Cinda saying, I'm here. I am yeah. not going down. Freezer. Yeah, Cinda taking it to game five with an excellent, excellent response to Shadow Gecko's two game lead. Wow. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah, I love what I'm seeing from both of these players. Both these players correctly responding. You know, maybe it takes a tip maybe a, a little bit longer than they had wanted, but uh, they're, they're responding to each other's pressure, each other's, you know, neutral game, and they've yeah. managed to find ways in, find ways around it. And it's kind of looking like Cinda is starting to take control here. Especially in the neutral, Shadow Gecko seems to be maybe a little bit uncertain of how to get in. The hero pressure sequence starts. Cinda says, "I'm not. I don't want any part of that." Bursts out. One of them may not graduate tonight, but certainly we'll see one of them in the top three next. They'll, time. they'll graduate in my hearts, that's for sure. And yeah, definitely graduate material. So it's just a shame they have to play each other in losers bracket. Brutal sequence, just yeah. Really exceptional pressure sequence from Shadow Gecko into the wall break. Super. Oh, is this a safe jump? jump? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Shadow Gecko having a dominant first round. <clears throat> Shadow Gecko match point here. Oh, and catches the bat, the Fukio backward with a uh, S or H. H yeah, yeah. S. Yeah. Put him in the corner, but send him into the escape now. Putting him in the opposite side corner. Good block it. Going for the layer two. An exceptional grab there. Yeah, layer two, not doing any work. So Cinda now representing that they can block the high and the low. But here's a knockdown. Oh, blocks the YRC burst online. And blocks the burst too! Oh, this is looking really good for Cinda at first, but Shadow Gecko bring it back. Tries to BRC with back dashes. Just can't get hit here. Oh, they don't recognize the... Yet again! <laughs> oh, Cinda bring it back see to the it coming. brink of disaster. Wow. But Shadow Gecko still has a huge material advantage with Burst here. And now a an significant meter advantage. Resets instead of wall breaks. Oh man, this is so scary for Cinda. This pressure feels like it goes on forever. Alright, finally got the burst out. Reversals, but uh, I think they're yeah, blocking. I think Shadow Gecko's blocking. And the Going through the wall. Okay. Finally a chance to get the out of the corner. Yeah. No, I'll go around neutral, here. but got some blood to spend, buddy. What's there gonna go. happen here? Okay. Cinda now in the lead. Oh, the man, just to bait out. To bait out, yeah. And now both right, players with roughly equal material high. here. Ooh. Huge counter hit. Oh, he's about to pop. Unload, unload, super. No. All right, oh, bro, no. You show your Hotashi. Oh, oh what's going to happen here? Both players pixel. at a pixel. Oh, the ground from Shepard is going to close it. Unbelievable. God. Unbelievable. Too close. Too close. Wow. Hats off to both of these players. Hats off. A round of applause. An incredible showing for both of these from both of them. The the a round start. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. A, a game five last round single pixel situation for both players. It does not get more close, more down to the wire than that. It. It, it, I mean, it, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a match that close before. So, yeah, wow. I incredible mix-up for, for Shadow Gecko going for the grab. Sheesh. I like, I'm not, I'm not trying to play favorites, but I definitely thought uh, Cinda had it there at the end. Like, he's just going to jump, do the, I think it's JD, the stab downwards. Take yeah, it, it was so the, close. Do the Hotashi special. But they weren't. They weren't allowed to do anything because their blood was out. Yeah. And I, yeah, you know, 
maybe hit confirming into super a couple moves earlier would have done it but uh you know it's hard to say tournament it's hard, nerves. To, say. It's hard to play optimally when you're so yeah it's right on the line it's hard to it's hard to play like that and it's also hard to know if the combo is going to kill in uh in any situation you know so yeah wow props to both these players i hope to see oh, yeah. uh i hope to see cinda next ban and um i'm i'm very excited to see how far shadow Gecko is going to take it they had some incredible pressure sequences i mean they really really had the cycles down uh, there were some moments of these rounds where cinda sat in the corner for for 10 seconds just waiting for it to end um so you know it was a great showing yeah really brilliantly done but now we have another nagoriyuki matchup with deceptions on nago versus yorf on may yorf whom both these character or players we saw earlier to, today yeah it's kind of interesting. A lot of the players that we want managed to make the top eight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And now both these players made it in from losers because remember, uh, actually, I think Yorf won their match. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Deception. So deceptions, also, like, but that was very early on. That was round yeah, one. Yeah, that was round one or, or I think Yorf was round three. So kind of a stuttery. I don't know if it's on. Yeah. It's just me, or okay. it's a little no, bit stuttery. No, I got it too. I, I didn't want to say anything because my PC's been acting up in general, but you're seeing no, it I too. I think it's I don't know. probably the same way on stream. So maybe some concerns over connection issues here. Oh yeah, it looks like they're. Yeah, looks like uh, our players are gonna have to make a decision here. But uh, these are, you know, two players who I think who are I mean, Deceptions has been playing in ban regularly recently, and uh, Yorf, like we mentioned earlier, a longtime ban community member. In fact, a TO for the for the Bracket About Nothing community. Um, so, but very strong players, well deserving of their top eight placement, where however they place. And uh, I think Deceptions has almost made it to graduate a few times recently. Of course, this is one of the biggest brackets we've had in, a, in about a month, maybe two. Uh, They're uh, going to run entrance. a connection test. And... Yeah, I think that's well justified. <clears throat> so I think we're going to um, back out here, wait for our, our our players to run a connection test. Maybe they'll just yeah, let yeah, the hate, run out. But uh, while, we're here, yeah. while we're here, I'd like to mention again that... Uh, this weekend, we have an event every day. We have an event Friday, we have an event Saturday, and we have an event Sunday. Kawi, do you remember which event is on which day? This is your test right now. You uh, will be Fri graded. Friday is the Street Fighter Six beginner bracket. That's right. Uh, I think at the same time as usual, 7 Central. That's right. That's right. And then Saturday is going to be the post-patch ladder event, yep. 2 to 5 Central time. Yep. the top four afterwards and yep. then sunday is the vvv grad bash grad the bash. grad bash exactly it's a, it's, a, it's a different server you know it's a little different it's a little different a little different there's one more thing do you remember what that is another thing question yeah well, I mean, there's a Johnny thing on Tuesday, if that's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Right. But, uh, yeah, let's go back over this one more time. So this Friday, at our standard bracket time of 7 Central, there's the Street Fighter VI uh, beginner bracket, which has been turning up every single week, uh, pumping out, maybe not every week, pumping out excellent competition. Um, you know, if you're new to playing street fighter which i think many of us are considering you know i, I find it hard to believe that all seven thousand entrants to street fighter 6 at evo were uh were repeat player were legacy street fighter players so if you're new to street fighter come on through join the server the server link is both in the chat and it's also in guts freeze description down below uh, below the stream uh get yourself in here come around on friday and uh join the bracket and like we mentioned, Saturday is our uh, ladder, our, our Guilty Gear Strive Season 3 Post-Patch Ladder Extravaganza. Turn that into an acronym. And uh, we, so basically that's going to be running from 2 to 5 Central. And 
how that works is it's not like a traditional bracket format. You will queue up for games and you can play back to back to back to back. You can just play for three hours straight and you'll play tournament quality sets because people are going to be trying. They want to maintain their record. But you also can just like take it easy. Just play, you know, it's the day after the patch. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Now, sat Sunday. Sunday is a little bit more exclusive. Oh, I should mention actually before I move on to Sunday. Our, uh, the latter event, the top four, definitely will, be, definitely will be streamed. And we might stream some other matches. Uh, so we're still figuring out the dynamic on that. But definitely tune in. We'll check that out. Now, Sunday, a little bit more exclusive. That's our grad bash. That's in, co that, that's in cooperation with three other beginner bracket servers. We got BAM. We got Captain Hawkeye's Beginner Beatdown. We got Hacker Man's Can't Hurt You. And we got the Weeb Cup Beginner Bracket. Four well-known, well-regarded beginner brackets that are a great way that have pumped out excellent graduates since, like, the beginning of Strive, probably. And so... Barry's calling out for you. In the chat. So now, uh... Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta let him, you gotta let him <laughs> you sweat know. a little bit. Yeah, you gotta let him sweat a little bit. And, uh... And so, anyway. So, if you're a graduate of any of these four brackets, come on down... Compete, show your stuff, show how much you've grown since you graduated, and uh, see, test your medal against the other graduates, see where they're at. It's, it's going to be a good event if you, you know, if you're tired of any, entering other brackets and just getting washed. And so maybe you know you're like, I need to fight players who are at my uh, mid to high mid level, you know, gameplay experience. Uh, so come on down, it's going to be a good time. And if you're not able to compete, tune in, check it out. It's going to be good strive gameplay. Uh, I myself will be competing, not commentating, so I'd love to see you there uh, rooting for your favorite player. And then as I mentioned, uh, Tuesday, that's our Johnny-only bracket. Come sling some cards. Come duel the fates. Come play Twisted Fate in the fighting game. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about that one. Anyway, we're done with our... our I think we've figured out our, our connection test here. Uh, we are going to uh, postpone this match and run Winner's Finals instead. Uh, Winner's Finals, is, I believe that's what we're doing. Can I get confirmation for production for, for real, for real? Run. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say yes to that one, and, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know. Our, uh, our, one of our Winner's Finalists got to go take a pee-pee. Uh, the... Uh, the fairy isn't telling me any secrets. I think I need to hit this again. Uh, so, I think we're going to run Winner's Finals while we figure this uh, connection problem out. Um, Winner's Finals is going to be Zavi versus Sefferton. Zavi versus Sefferton. Um, two players whom we just saw. Technically a father versus son fight in lore, you know? Yeah. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh, canonical, canonical family feud. Father. Nah, they're just sparring, bro. It ain't, it ain't that deep. Man. No, okay. Damn, they really well, want you to notice in the you in the chat. My my fans are begging me to to acknowledge them, uh, but I'm gonna keep letting them sweat because I think it's funny. Damn. <laughs> is the God, act of, isn't the here. isn't the act of saying this out loud acknowledgement in and of itself? These are the kinds of questions that Kafka I, would ask. It's like very Kafka-esque. Very Kafka. -esque. Yeah. Very right. Kafka I've never read a Kafka book. <laughs> I've never read. You a should. Book. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're you out there. But they're good. I only read Guilty Gear lore. I only read patch notes. You only read Guilty Gear lore. <laughs> How down, how down bad do you have to be to just read, to be like, Guilty Gear is my favorite fantasy story. Uh, I think you have to be pretty down bad. I That's think, brutal. I don't know what my favorite fantasy story would be. I like Halo a lot. That one's it's pretty good. Hey, Halo's pretty good. Halo's yeah. pretty good. Have you read the books? Yeah, I've read some of them. I've read yeah, the... Yeah, the books are kind of tight. Yeah. But looks like we're finally getting our winners finals under the way, so we are gonna have DB Zavi and Sefferton showing up for the winners finals. Wheat to uh to 
well, maybe not two high octane players. Uh, Severton's definitely a high octane player. I think Zavi is is a cold and calculated Kai player. Killer. Yeah, no, he's definitely he's a killer. Skip the unique intro. What the hell? You gonna let the intro rock for that long and then skip the dialogue right there? Nice. Yeah, the dialogue's lame. Remember, we just talked about the Guilty Gear story being lame. It's whack, but certainly funny. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, Stun Dipper is a better move than Elk Hunt. I said it. We saw it live. You know. Hey man, he's only had like five years to fight. Kai's has like a full ass life or whatever. <laughs> Severed him managing to find an opening here off of DP. Ooh, DD Zavi doesn't block the low. That is a kind of a freaky low to block. It is very delayed. Catches the anti-air but no conversion. Yeah, trying to and call out the overhead in advance rather than just knockdown. Uh oh. 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 Both players oh my, reaching. Oh my goodness. Reaching for the stars. That was a. That was the scrambliest shit I've seen so far. Yeah. 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 Both players using their neutral skip buttons in neutral to try to skip and not succeeding. But now Severton with a corner advantage. Managing to keep Zabi here, baiting the burst. Zabi's like, I'm gonna use it. Uncharacteristics of Zabi. It's like, I see burst I Actually, extremely. Burst. Yeah. Ex there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. DP doesn't combo into itself. Sim bottom one. Oh, and a huge pickup here from Zabi. Oh, goes install. for dragon install wall break. Okay, okay. Confidence. Zavi radiating confidence. Yep. Is that and a bait? Or is he... That is oh, a oh, that... in the world. DP hitting. Him. Oh, you can pick up? What the hell? Is that <laughs> Do it again, baby! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Zabi clear Zabi apparently knowing dragon install combos, but wasn't able to turn it into anything super successful. First coming out here after the bait BP, smartly. Fencing. These both well, these players fencing. And unfortunately Sepperton is going for the much more punishable choice is. I gotta think about it. It's kind of interesting that Sin doesn't have like a fireball, like Ooh. Son of Kai, taught by Soul. Not gonna wow. give him a little fireball, even as a treat. But Zavi with a my dominant rambling, round yes. three. Zavi yeah, taking Zavi with a very dominant round three. Round three, saying, "I know what you're going to do before you even know that you're going to do it," and just getting the perfect out there. Can Zavi keep it up? And can Sepperton respond? Can Sepperton pull it back? We've seen him do. We've seen them do it before. Oh yeah, evenly matched, I'd say. Well deserving so. of being in the winners final. Definitely. Little combo didn't quite finish it. Maybe baiting the burst. Yeah, great choices from Zavi here. Really keeping the pressure on, staying contestable, which is really important. Oh, and a huge oh punish goodness. here. Yep. And that's gonna that's kill. Dead. That's dead right oh there. Oh my gosh. Zavi's contestability is really freaking Sepperton out, and they're pressing when they really shouldn't be. Huge 6P punish coming out. Right, Cooter Arc taking them all the way across the screen, but no oh, burst and Stun Dipper beating Elkhan again. Wow. Getting the right hit. And Zobby saying, I play the same game, game I have the same I play style like you do. Baby. Yep, right back to the wall. With okay, you okay. Steal is positive bonus right from but Wow. The DP closing it out. Zabi saying for Sefferton, I you play the same playstyle as me. I know exactly how to beat every one of your options. Don't even try to DP out of the corner. Don't try to elk hunt out of the corner. I'm just gonna pick the right choices and you're gonna get hit. Side tangent, chat is going crazy. They're fucking <laughs> Final round, winner's final. <laughs> yeah, First thing that the round start this DP. Nonsense. I don't blame you. Not gonna. <laughs> Tries to bait the DP I... with a 5P, but Sin just Excellent. built different. Really incredible DPs. Now Sephardim with a big advantage here. 
Ooh, huge pickup. Wall break. But you no know, scam. He's a yeah, and very little player. damage. And Zavi saying, I'm just gonna drag and install, try to beat you out. Hey man, so far it's positive, two to one. Oh, big pickup, and the RC is gonna close it out. Up, oh, Dragon Souls now, two for two. Just gonna keep backdashing. Yep, finding their footing. TP right through that charge fire. Oh, I am blocking what an shit. incredible delayed fuzzy jump from Severton. Oh, oh but that. Play. They go for the cla their classic mix-up, and I think they're too comfortable trying to do that. It's not going to work there. And, yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah Zavi's going to close this round out. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> A little bit of disrespect Wait. there. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know what that was for. Question mark. For the swag, I think. Kind of looked like it. Ooh, Zavi, off the bat, putting... 65% of damage down on the Sephardin and blocking this burst and this may be the oh, 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 That was a niche combo that I have never seen. Yeah, that combo looks so <laughs> weird. It's like oh, slow slash dance. Oh, 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 oh. What did I just witness? Somebody clip that because that was a custom combo if I've ever seen one. Uh, very, very dominant showing by Zavi. Clear, making it very clear why they're they're deserving of going to grand final. Uh, but Sefferton's still got a chance. Sefferton's still got a chance. They're going to be going into uh, losers quarterfinal, playing against Intimidating. And we, oh, I'm I'm sorry. No, they're going to be going to losers semifinal. I'm sorry, playing the winner of. Uh, no, no, loser's final. Oh, Jesus. My brain. I'm sorry. I think we're finally going to do Deceptions versus Yorf, I believe. I think we're also going to do Deceptions versus Yorf. Yeah, I think so. I think that's next. Waiting for, for confirmation from reduction. But uh, in case you forgot, uh, Johnny only bracket on Tuesday. Johnny only bracket on Tuesday. Burn that into your memory. In case you need me to be more specific, that's one week from today, Tuesday, August 29th, at 7 p.m. Central. Be there. Be there or be square. Don't be, you can't be as cool as Johnny. Don't be square. Unless you are. Him. Johnny is not square. So if you are square, you can't be in the bracket, which means you're not there via the transitive property of Johnny. So be there, okay? That's all I really have to say. And up next, we're going to have Smalls versus Shadow Gecko. Uh, Potemkin Bridget matchup, which uh, seems hard for the Potemkin player. So I'm very curious to see how Smalls is going to navigate this one. Waiting on our players here. But uh, yeah, you know, Kawi, what's been your favorite match of top eight so far? We haven't uh, seen very many, but we've seen enough for you to have a favorite, you know? I guess. I definitely, Senda versus Shadow Gecko. We haven't seen it, we haven't seen I him agree. yet. So it's also just like nice to get a little change of pace, yeah. see some new faces, but also like just super, super close, incredibly close. It's what we love to see. Yeah, super close game. That was very competitive compared to the rest of our, compared to our upper bracket here in our top eight. That was definitely like a much more competitive game. Um, and I really enjoyed watching both those players go at it. Really enjoyed that. All right. So we're going right. into our match here. Shadow Gecko versus Smalls. Uh, Shadow Gecko again on the Bridget. Smalls another on the Bridget B player. Big Body. Yep. 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 And uh, hopefully Smalls didn't lose too much confidence in their match versus Sefferton. They feel like they're able to navigate this situation pretty well, or these situations well. And right now they have a pretty dominant lead over Shadow Gecko. Shadow Gecko seems a little bit lost, honestly. All right, but gaining back that confidence right away. As I as I say that, they convert into a very wonderful combo. 
Alright, but patience on smalls. Those block the low, but like, recognizing that they weren't, they didn't try to hit the hammer full. Yeah, and smalls choosing not to use their burst, which I'm not sure. Wow, great. Great, uh, space. Probably won't need it. Oh, trying to bait out the DP. Maybe a little too respectful. They're gonna that's go a, for it. That's a little oh, crazy. Oh, gosh. Buddy. That is this the is a scary waste of hero burst. This is a scary situation for Shadow Gecko to be in, but they Smalls backed up and, and let all of the advantage they might have had go to waste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that Shadow was Gekko's... not a good burst. No, that ultimately was a bad burst. They were able to convert the scramble situation afterwards into a, into a, a round win. It would have been great for them, but unfortunately, they just weren't able to do that. A little more labbing with the guy against your guy could have done some good there. Totally. Now, uh, Small's looking like they're the one on the back foot. They're not choosing to engage in neutral as much. They're probably just letting Shadow Gecko run their pressure. Alright, there we go. Back my fish. Yeah, I'm gonna find a good back my fish, but I'm not sure what the purpose of this super is. Just get off me. I need some space. Yeah, potentially. That and they do have a significant life lead, which, for the profit. Pop Bridget matchup means a lot. I never thought about it, but with like how many multi-hit Bridgets have, Hammerfall will not carry Smalls as much as it has. No, no, not at all. They can't rely on the tools they've been using to get here. Uh, and But Smalls manages to get a win here with a back throw in the corner. Got to go running their pressure, which they know well. Doesn't Tries get a full pick up there. Oh, unfortunate oh. burst timing. Wow, that was a last second burst block. And another yeah, no, Gekko, exceptional pressure sequence. Oh, but they dropped the combo. Oh, no, but they get hit. Yeah. And Shadow Gecko smartly playing around the potential reversal options available to Smalls and saying, I'm going to take this game. And then I'm going to take. Uh, they're probably planning on taking the rest. But Smalls, Smalls had a good upper, had a few good a, a few good opportunities there. Clearly showing they know at least you know some of the of the matchup material. Um, I just am not sure if they're really able to to close out the, some of the situations they need to. Just also just better bursting, like both bursts in that game just went to waste. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that, that, Shadow Gecko just sitting back and blocking. Smalls will eventually yeah. try to hammer fall in and. Punishes theirs for the taking. Yeah, Smalls can't rely on the Hammerfall like they have been. Uh, Br and Shadow Gecko correctly. Shadow Gecko bringing out the FRC low again. New, yeah. new opponent, new layers to use. Pressure again. Here would be a good opportunity for Smalls to use YRC, but they opt not to. Oh, big counter hit. Not much of a conversion. Yeah, from what I'm hearing, Pot B Bridge is not very good for Pot. No, I believe it. And 6P Okazeme really netting Smalls nothing. Smalls yet again it's... trying to use Hammerfall. It's not working. I get the sense they're not really sure what they should be doing. Yeah, like Slidehead and Hammerfall just can't do that much for you in this situation. Bridget's always flying around the screen, so Slide Ed's not going to hit him on the ground for the most part. Ooh, right. That's a nice heat up right there. That's a good pickup, yeah. Time for some pressure. Gigantic Kai was just a little too far away. It's not going to catch the back dash. Yeah, I gotta go. Smart B or YRC from them. Small I, I, recognizing I, I, that. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Oh, uh, with the back dash. The delay back dash. Beast the delay pop buster. Uh, interesting meaty option. Great grab. Right by Roger. I'm not gonna get enough damage out of that yet. No, That's a big just, boy. Wow, just barely. Okay, not it. killing. Dan, just dash right over. Jeez, yeah. Small's doing doing nothing to anti-air that approach. I, I think that it was like it's just too late already. There wasn't enough time to react. They walked forward. Oh. Yeah, I saw them walk forward. Certainly, they could have stood back and did something. But in any case, you know. We're going right back into it. Not going to let it phase him. Shadow Gecko's match point. 
you have the opportunity to just seal it all here. Hopefully they don't let their opponent run away with it like they did last time. Ground start Mega Fish trying to change up the approach. Shadow Goku in the corner, but Smalls are, yeah, but they correctly guess and, and get out. And Smalls doesn't do much to keep them there, frankly. Tries to convert off the counter hit, but it's gonna get. Yeah. What looks yeah, like a series of miss inputs here for for Smalls. Ooh, gets picked up. This should kill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it didn't wall break. It, yeah, what the. I feel that shit so much. I felt that. That's crazy. Axel has that same fucking problem sometimes. Just, yeah. Nah, I don't feel like wall breaking. Either. Yeah, it's just the weight probably hits them at the, a weird place. Oh. Apparently the Hammerfall connecting the way that Smalls wants it to as a as a counter option, but Shadow Guy was able to recover with Burst and he now has the corner again. There we go. Find the right ways to Hammerfall. Okay, I'm going for the HP. Okay. You know, honestly, I think I, I think this is a decent choice. Gotta find something to, yeah, it seems to a little kind far of intimidate away. your like, opponent. Uh, uh oh, but Smalls I've... not not correctly placing RP. Not a great option trying to JD Meaty. Alright, but Smalls better, better taking around. Claw on his way okay. back up. Smalls has the really, opportunity to, to take this back. Really make the changes he needs to take a game. There you go. Yeah. Alright. Getting out of the corner. Good avoidance. I got Kai to push him back into the other corner. Waste the BRC Man and Gigantic do the wall. Kai manages to connect. And now Shadow Goku needs to clutch it out. Six They've shown they're capable right. before, but... Are they going to do it now? Oh, oh no. Trying to just chip him out, maybe? And gets caught. The back dash gets caught by 6H. Smalls. Yeah. Staying wow. in. I'm not done yet. You know, Smalls really responded to uh, to to Shadow Gecko not knowing what to do when Gigantic Kai was out well and, and capitalized on those situations. I just don't think Bridget is able to withstand all that damage in a in a low health situation. I mean Shadow Gecko looks pretty lost. And the BRC in the corner just kind of not ending up being the right choice for for them to get out. Yeah. From Gigantic High. Oh so there are definitely better options available. Alright, using Hammerfall Break this time. But. Not working. Better go to giving chase. Okay. Hmm. Smalls YRC's remembering that YRC exists, which is a good thing. Good. It's gonna help them. I forget I ever hit this all the time. If I have a problem, my 2K. Important knockdown. He is Smalls gonna burst. Smalls just holding on to that burst. I don't want to use it. Yeah. Back Mega Fist. Working for them there. He's trying to call it a jump, but just gets eats a super for it instead. Okay. Safe jump. Oh, oh safe my jump. goodness, Small! And uh, Shadow Gecko on match point here again. Tries to hammer fall round start, but it's not gonna work. Ooh, gets picked up by the 214 S. Yo yo. He's trying to mash. Yeah. You gotta know which yo yo's out. He's right there. a good choice, yeah. Alright, good combo. But does not hammer fall to keep up pressure. Oh, and gets, barely gets caught. Hammer fall break. And now Shadow Echo says, I know the multi hit moves to use to keep you from being able to hammer fall through. And, and Shadow Echo takes it. Small Shows a small breath of life towards the end, but then Gecko just dominates the next game yeah their pressure is just uh, a lot it's a lot to handle they clearly know what to do which in a in a for for our, you know the level they're at is gonna net them huge huge wins yeah huge wins and unfortunately deceptions is going to be dq'd while your moves on to take on intimidating all right so next up, we're seeing Intimidating versus Yorf. As we mentioned before, the uh, Yorf 
Bracket TO or Band TO, long time, long time band competitor over a, a variety of games, and intimidating a recent uh, band upstart, showing themselves week after week, proving that this they upstart. This. <laughs> I mean it in the most. I mean it in the most affectionate <laughs> way possible. And you know, no, no shade. Like they're just they're they've quickly the cream rises to the top, and they've quickly risen to the top, showing that they've got the stuff to to almost graduate. So. Uh, you know, hope. I mean, I'm sure that they hope this is their last uh, beginner event, and that they'll get an orange or blue name after this. But they've got to be able to 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 prove it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, one of these players will have to go through the. Uh, we'll have to go through Sefferton. They'll have to go through one of these players. will have to go through Shadow Gecko, and then Sefferton. Um, before finally reaching Zabi to take the win. So we are about to see who our confirmed graduates are. Uh, once again, if, if you're not familiar with our graduation structure, top three graduate oh, and uh, so winner gets a special title. Uh, I got kicked out of the match. Got kicked out of the lobby, oh no. Always happens, grand finals gotta have some oh, It's okay, you can uh, here, let me do this. Check out the stream through Discord. Yeah. Yorf with a strong start. Putting intimidating on the on the ropes, but intimidating now. Oh, oh no. and a, a very bad burst from Yorf, but okay. Keeping it alive. Expecting a burst from intimidating soon. There it is. Pressure. Yeah. Oh, Burn. huge counter hit. Massive. Oh, oh they can God. convert. Oh. Okay. Well, that looked like that was crazy. Those moves intersected. Great DP. Great DP. And oh, it drops it. Oh, but the yeah, it drops it. But <laughs> like matter. we saw earlier, Yorf is just capable of playing rock paper scissors better than her opponent. Rock and scissors. Rock paper scissors champion. Yeah, seriously. Oh my goodness, a triple over it. Intimidating, keeping up the pressure here. Doesn't wall break with super, opting to, confer opting to keep their meter. As we've seen plenty of times, and moments like this are extremely powerful for Kai. Keeping that meter ended up being a good choice. They counter it, and it gets a DP off of it. Trade. Heavily in May's favor. It's right under him. You want for the. Oh no. Ooh, and this and is. Yeah, another unfortunate. But oh, they dropped the combo. Yeah, yeah, it does anyway. <laughs> but oh. Intimidating wins the scramble to seal game one under their belt. Seal right, it in the Pokeball. Let's see if I can get back in. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm having that problem where I can't, like, the other player is not showing up. Uh oh. Like, like I can see intimidating on the station, but not. Oh. Uh, we well, you can just can... keep watching through this through my yeah. screen until it works. Definitely keep both up. So a competitive game one here. Both players playing, you know, back and forth, playing around each other. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of a delay. It, uh, production, are you seeing this on your side where the the player on the stand is stuck? Oh wow. Oh wow. We should definitely have less people on the spectator stand. Need to make some room for production because it's important that they can see. Uh, while we're here, everybody remember to hydrate. Uh, this is your daily high this is your daily. It shouldn't be your daily. It should be your every 10 minute daily and posture check. So if you if you're slack, if you're slouching your shoulders, if you got, if you're out here looking like Nosferatu, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. If you're out here looking like Nosferatu. Relax those shoulders. Take some deep breaths. Look straight ahead. Plant your feet squarely on the ground. You know. All right, I'm, I'm your, not Kel, your but I'm, I'll take some sips for Kel. Don't you worry, guys. And I'll do, it, I'll do it right into the mic. Remember to drink. Remember to hydrate. 
up here in the commentator box, we gotta hydrate. I mean, I'm drinking. I hope you guys heard that. Are you, drinking a water are you drinking a Capri Sun? What's going on here? Oh, no, my <laughs> water bottle just sounds whack. Ugh. I had to make everyone know that I'm taking sips. <laughs> this fool sounds like he's drinking juice boxes. We're out here, we're out here drinking right, juice. I, I just drank the whole bottle, so uh, drink the rest of it at least. Nice. Got you gotta go get more. I guess so. Figure I for one, I okay. I for okay. one, I'm gonna take this break to uh, get some more water, and we're gonna we're dealing with some technical difficulties on the Strive side, but we will be right back in just a moment. Okay. Are we uh are we live or no? Okay. I'm back, full water bottle, time to chug some more. Beautiful. That's your that's the reminder, the trigger sound to hydrate everybody. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Keep it together. Oh, this water is just, you know, so good, man. Oh, they're playing. Oh, wow. shit. Too that slow. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Too slow. You'll get in here next time. Mankind. Dual water. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, aggressive round start from both players, though. <laughs> Your popping just burst immediately and doesn't make anything off of it. Ooh, gets a stun dipper with that big ass anchor. Right. Does it again. Yeah, fully anticipated that burst there. We're seeing Intimidate oh my into the goodness, corner. Just counter after counter. Yeah, these players are pressing buttons. They didn't pay 60 bucks a down back. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, and intimidating <laughs> with the Kai player classic. Oh Run up grab. That was risky Run too. Up, grab. Like you were you were a little dying in it. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Intimidating. Keeping it up. Keeping up the pressure. Great 6P. Yeah. It's 6 p the dolphin. It's that easy. You saw your first folks. And here's a Kai RC combo off a of Stun Dipper. This is more than likely Very going scaled. to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. That barely. Is, that's barely scaled, not very scaled. And uh, that's going to be intimidating is up 2-0. If I have that correctly. Yeah, Kai is indeed a grappler. Cynical FGC knows exactly what is okay. going on here. Okay. Exactly what's going on This here. time I made it in, so I don't need the... Okay, I'll end the stream. Oh, okay. I got kicked off. Can you stream for me? <laughs> yes, I can. Yeah, we're getting owned here. Oh, excellent reversal from Yorf. And but intimidating is willing okay. to just run back in there. Yeah. Reversal, but oh, I'm surprised that had nothing until you go through the fireball. 
That's tough. Intimidating knew that they just had to wait for the splash and then was able to punish. So I noticed Intimidating is running the default skins, so I'm assuming that when they went against a uh, Zavi, they just got put on the other skin. They were forced to the other skin, yeah. Entirely yeah. possible. Entirely possible. You are really trying to find any signs of weakness here in Intimidating's Dave's game, game plan, but Intimidating just feels like in a, like an impenetrable fortress here. York really cannot get any. Oh, uh, is this oh gonna wow. connect? Nope. No, it is not. And Big punch all available. Minus 64 like frames. Do whatever you Big want. Punish, but but York wasn't able to capitalize. Yeah. You're May. You got that big damage. Don't be afraid to hit him real hard with that anchor. Seriously. Unfortunately, they dropped their combo. But now May. Uh, now York oh, has wow, the. That, uh, wow. Surprised I had enough time to OTG. And York is going to take it to round three. Still match point for intimidating. First, full meter on deck. What do we got? Dalton. Crank that wrist. Players pressing. Big oh, counter. here we go. Big counter. Oh, see? yeah. Yep. Super wall Yamato. break. Excellent. That's the damage, man. Oh. oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't confirm. That seems very hard to hit. I see that happen very regularly. Yorf has to... Yorf has to keep it up here. Oh no! And we know Intimidating has the dust combo, and this might do it. Jeff oh, it, guts though. Yorf is barely alive. And oh, it's gonna oh, eat no. a sacred edge though. And Intimidating is gonna take the set. 3 0. A great, sh a, a great effort by Yorf, but unfortunately they weren't able to find any purchase yeah. against Intimidating's defensive playstyle. They just, uh, they just, you know, they tried and tried and there, were, you know, we saw counter hit after counter hit from both players. Um, I think largely because Yorf was just trying their damnedest to, to find a way in. They had a good, a couple really good opportunities, but oh, that, that super drop was a, such a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. That was that so that unfortunate. Been the game there. I think so. Yeah. So maybe opting for the for the other uh, for the Orca. I don't remember the name of the move. Uh, the uh, reversal Mr. super. On. Come on, man. So maybe opting for the Orca would have been a better choice. But uh, yeah, the, the the whale was just took too long. Just took too long. Uh, so next up, we're gonna have Shadow Gecko versus Intimidating. Two excellent players. Intimidating really got to run a little bit matches. of a gauntlet today. Three yeah, matches yeah. in a row. Yeah, absolutely. Akawa, you can drop your stream, by the way. possible. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll just keep it up in case it, like, kicks okay. you out again for no reason. But... Okay, no worries. Uh, yeah, so Intimidating, known for their great neutral and their good corner pressure and their aggressive play style. Shadow Gecko, known for, the, known for their very dominating pressure sequences, their great mid-screen pressure, their great and in, in, incredible corner pressure. Everyone I've seen them fight tonight has been in the corner for 10 seconds at a time. So let's see if Intimidating can find a way out and if Shadow Gecko can keep them there. Big pickup. Hey, coming off a 3-0, but still the... Yeah, Intimidating does have... Gonna get you. I do have the heat factor. But Shadow is going to send him through a wall. And cautiously, none of them want to give him the burst word. Patient neutral. Trying to bait the burst, but... Not gonna give it up that easy. Intimidating's gonna keep it, knowing that if they do burst, it's gonna get blocked. It's a long prime too. Mm -hmm. Big high, but he knows. Just gonna double jump over there slowly, We're making. Gotta go giving nothing away in their pressure here. All right, burst. I don't want to be in that corner, but gonna get beaten out by. Oh wow! Hurt my heart. You gotta do a super wall uh, break. Uh, Roger just cycle. That. Nah. First to put him back in the corner. The Falls out the roll though. FBRC really to reset their pressure. Yeah, that was crazy. Alright, stun dipper though. Their turn. 
important delay tech from from intimidating. Gonna get the wall break, but they still have a significant life deficit to handle. Shadowgeko playing safely, evasively. Manages to and pick up Kickstart My Heart and then gets the close slash to close it out. Yeah. Well played by Shadow Gecko, really understanding that if they give anything away, Intimidating is going to capitalize. So they played safely, they played evasively. Really, really smart stuff. What do you think Intimidating needs to do? Uh, I think it's just like kind of like don't get in the situation in the first place. Got to play neutral a little bit better, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, definitely. Things a little tough for Kai. Your fireballs are a little bit useless against both the yo-yo and like roll and stuff like that. And same and mobility. Fireballs aren't quite as strong in this situation. It's definitely a tough, going to be tough to navigate their way into Bridget's space. Possibly use 6B a little bit more. Kai's got a pretty decent 6B. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. We've seen 6P underrepresented in general uh, against Shadow Gecko this evening. Oh, great. Great grab. 6k. Excellent reset. Excellent pressure reset into a wall break. This is a scary situation. Oh, for intimidating. Ooh. Oh, like, yeah, he's wasting both happened. bars of meter for... I mean, got a little combo out of it, I guess, but... I think they thought the burst was coming, maybe? Or maybe they just uh, hit him I, twice on accident? Yeah, I think it just accidentally rc twice. But takes the round anyway, so I guess it didn't matter, but uh, Yeah, all things being equal, it's all good. Intimidating smartly bursting at the beginning of the combo. Not taking too much. Yeah, good six like, Intimidating's got the right idea. He's trying to like approach to the air rather than trying to take Bridget on the ground where she can easily roll and Yeah, do all but as soon as Bridget up. starts doing the two H and the six P, you're in for trouble. So you do need to mix it up. Oh whoa, amazing grab. Magnetic hands. Choir C to immediately go back to Bridget pressure. Nah, oh, now it's my turn. Ooh, the Fudra arc not connecting was a huge deal. Oh, great jump out. Yeah, you're right. Intimidating does have the right idea. They just need to be able to execute the full game plan. It's just kind they're of able tough. To get, Bridget... They're able to get out, but they're not able to convert. Oh, when they BRC, out. The DP chipped, I think. That's wow. Ironic way to end it, but now 2-0. Oh. Shadow Gecko. Shadow Gecko looking dominant here. Giving nothing away at any point in the matchup. At any point in the game. I'm gonna look back. I wonder who knocked them down in the first place, because they've been, like, pretty good. They've been on a tear, that's for sure. Oh! Wait a minute, this is a rerun. Intimidate beat Shadow Gecko back in winner's round three, three to two, so it was a close oh, one. Oh, wow. Interesting. So maybe Shadow Gecko's clearly watched, been watching stream, thinking about their match, and recognized what they needed to do to adjust. But now Intimidating, the shoe's on the other foot now. Intimidating needs to make make up for the deficit. Yeah. But we've seen Shadow Gecko go up 2-0 over each player they've played against. And their opponent has begun to adjust. And Shadow Gecko has just been a little bit slower. Alright, using the air fireball to get Bridget out of the air. And speak of the devil, the we're seeing Shadow Gecko in a, in a, in a bad situation. Alright, double overhead, but Shadow Gecko does not falter. Ooh, calling out the DP. And this is gonna kill. Oh, this is definitely gonna be it. Bridget cannot withstand the RTL wall break damage. Just kill her faster than she kill you. That is so here we see Shadow Gecko needs to make an adjustment. Changing the way clearly the intimidating has done it. Yeah. Huge counter hit. Counter hit? Oh, but the side switch definitely messed them up there. It was a little unfortunate. They might not have realized they had they had meter right at the last second. Could have been a longer combo. Here we go. Back in that corner pressure. Oh, but the yo-yo return. Yo-yo return just a moment too early. He's in fireball to get shock stable, saying birth safe. Very smart. Oh, doesn't fall for the charge dust, though. Yeah, Shadow Gecko was clearly blocking high. 
Oh. And the Bridget classic. Relying on the fireball super. <laughs> Sounds a little disparaging. I mean, I can't really blame him. And Intimidating is going to take game three. Yeah. Intimidating, learning, coming back. And we've seen this again and again. Not going to go last... to zero. Yeah, in every match we've seen from Shadow Gecko, this is exactly the story. They go up two games, maybe because their pressure and their neutral are just that good. But it, as soon as their opponent starts adjusting, things take a little bit longer for them. So let's see if they can make the right adjustments. They did it last game, or last match, against, uh, against uh, who was it now? Against Smalls. But intimidating. Showing themselves to be a strong player. Oh yeah. They wouldn't have gotten this far if they weren't. Yeah. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Taking a little bit slower this time. Now we're in. Intimidate even just taking a very slower approach in the field, just jumping at him, no air dash. Big counter hit. Getting intimidating all the way to the corner. No the anti air. See, intimidating. His opponents need to start anti airing them there. It's just not going to work. And through the wall. Opting not to. Yeah, through the wall. Again, opting not to spend the burst in, in round one. Overhead again. Go. Big counter hit, and that's going to seal it. <clears throat> Okay, this is a good good situation for Shadow Gecko. Match point. Intimidating still has burst, but Shadow Gecko's proven that they can bait burst just as well as anybody. Mm. Except for maybe there. They got DP'd though. <laughs> yeah. Throw in the corner. RC. Wow, going for the throw combo. Oh, but drops it. Yeah. Doesn't matter, you're gonna go through the wall. This is looking yeah, really bad for the scramble. Tries to. Ties in their scum dipper PRC. <laughs> and. <laughs> Shadow Gecko just having a bad game and manages to close out the set. Yeah, well played from Shadow Gecko. They, they were just all over intimidating, intimidating that game. Oh, it's an intimidating one. And we were about to have a top three Kisuke's only. That would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. But now we have a very, very top three. One Bridget, yeah. one Sin, one Kai. We have our panel of graduates. Each of these players is uh, no longer allowed to compete in band beginner brackets. But they may compete in the open event or the graduate events. Um, so congratulations to Zavi Sefferton and Shadow Gecko for uh, graduating. Apologies yeah. to to intimidating for not being able to to make it but i know you'll be here next uh the next time not next week because that's our johnny bracket but next time uh but now we have to determine who's going to get the graduate title or the 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 champion champion, champion of title nothing. yeah who among these these merry fellows is going to be the champion of nothing will it be zavi will it be sefferton or shadow gecko right now shadow gecko and sefferton are going to put on Put on their best effort to prove that one of them is worthy of the champion of nothing title. All right, counter 2S. Tries the DP. Oh, okay. huge, gonna get punished. huge counter hit. Huge punish. Oh, unfortunately, side switch, but rushing right back in. Oh, it's laggy for the screen, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I guess it's not like that for them, though, because they seem to be playing this uh, It doesn't even look like it's that for them, but it's definitely bad for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can barely... Always can in really grand that. finals, dude. Never... Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Bridges being sent through the wall now. Excellent DP uh, from Shadow Gecko. I, I would say excellent DP from Sefferton, but it was full screen. Easy. This is not looking good for me. Okay, but Sefferton takes the first round, I guess. Sefferton does take the first round. Is somebody who's upset with the patch notes just DDoSing the Stribe servers right now? What's going on? I really hope not. Kind of looks that way. Just for us, though. I'm not going to pretend that I can...
tell anybody what's happening on the screen right now. Oh yeah, it's So just... I hope you all are enjoying uh, s this sped up version of um, of Losers Finals. Uh, this is okay. actually a pre-recorded match. We're speeding it up for you. Oh. Yeah, you know, we're just skipping the filler. Yeah, we're okay, just we skipping go. all the Finally. filler content. Okay. Is it I'm on now stable? It seemed like it was stabling out a bit there at the end. Oh, okay. Even the intro's like. Yep, there we go. Cool. Sefferton just letting the DPs rip. No. Nobody's gonna tell me to block. Uh, yeah. Big pickup from Sefferton here. The game is smoothed out. RC combo. Wall break. And through the wall. Indeed. Yeah. Goes for just the punch. Oh, counter Baker, poke. Baby. Huge counter hit. Oh, is this going to hit? Nope. No, it does oh, not. Does oh, not but the second hit catches. Oh, and Sefferton's in it. Oh, wow. That RTL's in a real killer. Yeah, it is tricky if you don't if it crosses you up and you don't know you don't recognize it, you have to block the opposite direction. Well the trick is that you just hit in between like the In the like in between the, the hits, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So you gotta just mash on it. You gotta mash there. But recognizing that is difficult, Even, especially in the moment. Yeah, exactly. If you don't know, you don't know. Yep. It's one of those knowledge check moves. And there Strive is a game of knowledge check moves. So Sefferton, ta Sefferton takes game one, and let's see if uh, Shadow Gecko's response is going to be strong enough to take the second game. That was a close one. Admittedly, that was a close one. Oh yeah. But Sefferton had a few key drops. They keep getting that counter hit, uh, slash, heavy slash, kickstart my heart combo, but it's not connecting all the way. They need to figure out a little bit of a better option there. And thankfully, we are able to commentate this match for you now. Yeah. Appreciate everybody who's watching for, you know, sitting Ooh, with us throw with, through gotta get funny. the technical difficulties. I right, sure a neutral jump, you know, a little bit calmer pace, but even Elcum can't go under kickstart my heart. Oh, pixel on a dream. Trying to chip him out, but it's not going to work. Ooh, and the Sefferton, burst on that. Wow, Sefferton doing I, a... That was not a good burst. No, I don't know if Sefferton's going to take this one, but I think Shadow Gecko should just, you know, take the combo, get the round. <laughs> now you're going to the next round with no burst. Yeah, I think Shadow Gecko definitely shouldn't have spent their burst there, but what's done is done. They managed to secure the round. Oh, they were too Indeed, early. But... Oh, back dash to the throw, but does not get the punish. Oh, calls out the... Yeah, good call out. Check start my heart. 2k, 2b's out of there. Cool, oh, and it's very smart throw from Sefferton. Managed to secure the corner. Super wall break. Ooh, first time seeing Pirate Raid. Doesn't get, the, doesn't get the clean hit. But that's okay, still what? a good amount of damage. And against Bridget, it matters immensely. First oh, DP coming around. out here. Looking real low there. Ropes. Yeah, I saw that coming. Do they know. Oh, they Dude, tried. Yet again, does not. Yeah. Just they gets tried, blown up by it, the second hit. Yeah, it wasn't there. Excellent gra or throw. Uh oh. Counter hit. Okay. First oh, time Sefferton's represented uh, fuzzy jumping. So, I mean, I don't blame them for. TP's yet that. again. I'm not sitting here and taking that Bridget Corner pressure. I don't blame him. Fire. Oh, it drops it! Fire sees. <laughs> the, the amount of DP something for that was just comical. Yeah. And it's working out pretty well, all things considered. I mean, yeah. Sort of the thing where if you don't, ex you know, if, if it's all the time, is it really a bad option? Yeah, it's like if people are getting hit by it, oh my goodness. Ooh, but it, like, dropped oh my goodness! Turning DP, but Shadow Gecko takes that game. Yeah, dominant game from Shadow Gecko. 
really great back and forth, but ultimately Shadow Gecko was able to secure the win by smartly de uh, baiting the DPs from Sefferton. Sefferton needs to reevaluate their choices on Wake Up. Maybe be a little bit more patient. Yeah, a little, a little less DP. Even if you're, even if you're hitting like. Yeah, you think about the spacing that's available, you know, maybe maybe you don't do it in mid screen so much, but that's okay. okay. Those are mistakes we all make, and it's going to be up to separate to, to rectify them so that they can secure the win. So remind me, Kobe, this is game three? Yes, Sefferton one, yeah. Gecko two, I believe. Okay. So, one one here. Letting the intro rock. Both players maybe needed to have a moment to calm their nerves. Damn, Bridget. And I was like that. She's vicious, bro. Vicious. I think she's gonna kill you. Hey, man, she's a bounty hunter. Fuck her. Alright, getting the burst out right then there. Counter DP. Gonna go right DP still defense. doing a lot of work. Strong. Shadow gonna go. Start. Shadow Gecko not respecting the DP at that distance. They should have, you know, Sefferton knowing that they could punish it there. Excellent throw, back throw into the corner. Can they keep it? Yes. Super to wall break. Sefferton still with burst and 100 meter and full stamina. And that's safe, safe jump, jump here. Will they be able to punish it properly? Yes! Oh, excellent Learn punish! On the fly. Oh, but they aren't. They they backdash too many times. Aren't able to punish the DP, but it doesn't matter because the super is there to cover. Sefton has such a good show in that first like interaction, but now lost the round. Oh, oh great DP! Yep, of course, bursted. Just do it again. <laughs> the right again. A taste of your own medicine, and DP. Shadow Gecko knows. Shadow Gecko knows. Can't press. Can't press the DP button. I'm here to grab you. Corner. Should be a full combo in a wall break. Sefferton on the ropes here, but with a good portion of material. Oh, but this knockdown is not good. Plays the patient that time. I'm surprised. I was really expecting the right the yeah. to come out. But right. Sefferton is down and out for the count. Got caught walking backward, not blocking low, and the 2S into the hit confirm is going to do it. So now it's Shadow Gecko now it's, yeah. making the run of a lifetime. Yeah, now they will have to go against Zavi. Oh. No, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. I'm, oh, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. I really. Okay, then. That, it's 2 1. That's my bad. I, I thought. Know, it feels like yeah. each game has been close, so it feels like we've seen more, more, more matches or more games than we actually have. Whoops. Bad, bad commentary with this guy at the point. It happens. Huge 2H punish. Good punish there. And oh, the air super for wall break. That's a significant amount of damage. Yeah. Sefferton's in a bad spot here. Sefferton recognizing the safe jump now. Not going to DP. Okay. Pushing them all the way back in the corner. Oh, the poor Kai's back dash. Er, wow. Oh my goodness. Shadow Gecko really showing adaptation, really recognizing when they're going to DP or not. Yeah, saying you cannot DP here anymore. I'm ready. Getting hit by the meaty close slash. Yeah, Shadow Gecko cool. pressing buttons, getting blown up. Sefferton's got to find a way in now. Positive bonus. Passive meter gains huge here. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. This RC deck. confirm is going to be scary. Kill. Yeah. Yes. Perfect, in fact. Alright, from Shadow from Sefferton. Not out. Some oh, excellent oh, oh. moment. That was some extended wow. hurt box genetics. Yeah. Uh oh, an important moment for Sefferton. Can they close out the game and equalize? Alright, overhead into the wall break? Oh no, it didn't flat. First keeper in there. We're seeing lag again. Oh yeah. I don't know if the players are seeing it. Probably not. This one will be playing just fine. And Sefferton. And Sefferton takes it. all up. Yeah. 
We're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. Zephyr 10 really wants to run back. Game five of our losers finals match. Severton versus Shadow Gecko. A brilliant set of adaptation by Severton playing more patiently. You know, that first round, they were they were throwing out DPs too, too often again. Shadow Gecko was catching them, but Severton said, you're not going to make me bleed my own blood anymore. Took it back with a perfect, managed to get the round three. And we'll see what happens in the, in the game five. Situation with the connection doesn't look any doesn't look, doesn't look good anymore. Okay. Well. Yeah. Unfortunately, commentary is not able to see the game very well. I'm just glad that at least the players are like being able to play. I agree. I agree. Severton with a huge advantage here. Keeping that pressure up, cranking that wrist. It's a hit, Shadow Gecko trying to press 2k, but it doesn't connect. Like in deep, he does oh, though. And the oh, throw and it, will take it. Wow. Huge throw. Sefferton looking match real point. good. Taking them. Yeah, it's match point burst on the board. Match point with burst is a good place to be in. Uses it. Not the greatest, but you know, we take it. DPs. Oh I'm no, they pressure. missed the throw. Put to the wall. Already got a bar of meter. Positive bonus now. BRC and DP though? Oh wow. Shadow Gecko taking advantage of the situation spike. Yeah. Sefferton having positive bonus. Alright, RTL. Yeah. Correctly spacing. Oh, there you go. Oh, but he made BRCs and make it safe. Unfortunate. But now Sefferton spent all their meter. Oh, and this is not safe. Uh oh. This is a bad situation, and it's gonna it's gonna Kill. do it. Sefferton Sefferton. manages to beat Shadow Gecko in losers finals, earning his ticket back to the rerun. And now it's gonna be a repeat of our winners final match: Sefferton versus Zavi. A brilliant showing by Shadow Gecko. Congratulations on being banned. Congrats. You've yeah. done amazing. We're so had a proud really of you. Really good run and showed. Did not let him have that win easy. Yeah, and thank you for thank you for coming out. Really appreciate it. You know, I don't know if you've entered these band events before, but you're an excellent player. I'd love to see you in here again, and I'd uh, love to see you catch some. Love to catch some games with you sometimes. So, Sh Sefferton says shaking. Well, well, buddy, it's not going to get any better. You got one more to take care of. Oh, hold on a second. Seeing that our, the connection was not just on our end, it was on theirs too, a little bit at least. Unfortunately, it is a little bit late for there to be a connection problem. But nonetheless, I'd love to see uh, you predict who's going to win Grand Finals. Use your points now. I'll be predicting. But I won't tell you who for. Oh. And now we're running into, we're All going right, into our yeah. Grand Finals. Wait, what? <clears throat> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What's up? No, okay, my, I got dropped. Could you stream? Okay. So yeah. instead of reflecting on what is happening here, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. Dad, have you ever had chili? It's a super secret hero phase old man. Alright, it's our grand finals match. Zavi, consistent player who's been dominating the entire bracket. Versus Severton, losers run hero. One last gamer to beat. Grand Finals, let's rock, baby. Well, I can't say what they get. They were the losers run here. They made it to losers in the game in those finals. So. Yeah. <laughs> Two very strong players, nonetheless. Oh, yeah. And Z Both Zavi, deserving to be here. Yeah, Zavi definitely fencing out Sefferton's offense. Here's a big combo. Man, uh, drops it, though. Good air to air. Dad beating the shit out of his son. Domestic abuse on stream. Two less. Oh, the fireball barely coming out in time. 
Great way to close out the round from Zavi. Keep it safe. You've got the life lead. Don't stress about it. Severton going for an air dodge. I think that was kind of a hasty way to use burst there. It didn't seem like it'd be a strong confirm. Baiting throw. And now Severton has burst again. Zavi going for a very ambitious air RTL. And a great combo from Sefferton, carrying it all the way to the other wall, managing to Ooh, get the over. Oh, but they go the for the combo. Burst is gonna knock him out of the super. The burst is gonna get the super. All right, nice little combo. Oh, Take him to the great pickup by Sefferton. The meter oh, there might have been able to seal the deal. I think but spending the meter would have been a great choice. And now, very, very now, close. Now, but the 6P does it! Excellent oh my choice! Goodness, I thought he got hit. <laughs> what an unbelievable close. choice by Sefferton. This, using the 6P to both go through the projectile and hit Zavi. Avoiding the neutral, having to actually play neutral with the neutral king. Oh, drops a combo. Back throw into it. It's a big drop. First out of there, though. Yeah, we know, we know Zavi bursts almost immediately when they have it. Alright, red RC to Sefferton does. Sefferton's running does hot. Does not break though. Alright, there we go. Pretty much even Stevens. Oh, but that stun dipper gives Zavi. No! Oh! Zavi saw what I was seeing. I saw that burst was almost back online and he recognized Jeez, it. Jeez, what a heartbreaker. Zavi Close game one. Zavi just barely it. manages to clutch it out. Gets our gets 50 meter in the last moment with the with the the stun dipper connecting so that they can continue the combo and baits the burst yeah. as soon as it appears. Very, very good awareness. Yeah, extremely good awareness. Oh, I still need it. Oh, it keeps kicking me. Off. That's oh. Always top eight. We gotta suddenly start having connection issues all over the place, and like server issues, not necessarily connection issues. But Shepard is stuck in the corner. Who do you bring? Six burst again. Oh, whoa! An interesting trade there. Slugging out. Oh, Shepard is getting Back reckless. Gonna get. Oh my goodness! DP's the super. Shepard gonna answer back with a counter combo. And yet again, man, wow, he catches people mashing it. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chooses not to go for the super wall break. Instead, right, going right, for a barre RTL, oh, getting my thrown. Oh no! Severton needs Zombie's to be the really. Yeah, Severton needs to be really careful with how they're spending meter in this matchup because Zavi obviously knows how to beat it. Can't get away with it as much as he could before. Even Shadow Gecko is starting to recognize it towards the end of the set. Yeah. Sefferton trying to slug it out right. as much as he as Just they can. Nope. That will not connect. And Zavi's ready for the punish. Brilliant combo. Showing that they really understand Kai's combo structure. Oh, oh wow. 6B PRC 6B. Zavi's just looking oh. impenetrable right now. And this is going to connect and close game two out. Zavi is on a roll. And this is tournament game for Zavi. What is Sefferton going to do to change it up? Better figure out fast because he's got to win yeah. six games in a row now. I know. Three in a row and then three more. Sefferton's in a tough spot. A very large, a mountain to climb, in fact. But they can do it if they find it inside themselves. Counter hit Fuja Art is huge. Zavi giving nothing away. Determined to press as many buttons as possible, but does get hit. Gets DP back. But Zavi is playing so actively, just trying to cover air and ground as quickly as possible. And gets on the RTL. Ride the lightning through the wall and damn it! Whoa! 
Stop unprorated me. counter hit our ride the lightning is gonna kill. Stop him just dominating. It's real tough out here. Yeah. Sephirin not gonna go down without a fight though. Still, Sephirin still unable to find purchase. Oh, oh, getting desperate. All right, jumping over the fireball. Gonna punish. Backs away immediately though. You're using that back to the full potential. The close slash whiffs for the mini, but it's all good. First on deck. Oh, well done. Okay. Oh, and Aces the well the spaced 6k to take the round. Let's go. Signs of life from Sefferton. Can they win this round? And Zavi going for some really kind of gimmicky stuff. Not respecting Sefferton. I don't know if he was trying to call it the burst or just go for a combo or anything, but either way it gets burst. I think if Sefferton takes the opportunity to just wait and see what Zavi's going to do, they're playing so actively. Yeah, here we go. Take advantage of the fact that, Sefer that Zavi wants to do something. Yeah. Zavi can play a little here patiently, but sometimes you see the DPs in the Ride the Lightning that... And you go, oh, oh, I see deep inside of you as a player who loves to press buttons. Sefferton and takes Sefferton around. does. Take does exactly that. Zavi is playing a little bit too carelessly, getting a little bit too comfortable, and Sefferton says, oh, you can't do that. You have to play me. Don't yeah, think you Sefer can just press whatever you want. You made three of me last time, but I've learned. I've adapted. Yeah. And so now Sefferton does have the opportunity. They have to take two games in a row, but it's the possibility that is there. Taking a little breather before we get back in, perhaps? I think it's just a little bit bugged out. Oh, boy. Thing. I think my lobby crashed. I gotta rejoin. Okay. That's what Zavi said. Yeah, I also have to rejoin. Epic Strive lobby moment. Seriously. While we're waiting, don't forget that the SF6 beginner bracket is this weekend. Oh, it's sick. I can't move. No worries. Might have to, yet again, open up another... Uh, open up another uh, lobby. I don't know. Yeah, I joined the lobby and can't move. So while we're waiting, don't forget, this Friday, 7 Central, our SF6 beginner bracket. I know we're watching Strive, but if you have any inkling of playing uh, Street Fighter Six, you know, some level of competitively, definitely go ahead and check yeah. that out. Uh, if you are interested in playing some more Strive post-patch, this Saturday we have our uh, Strive Ladder. And that is going to be from 2 to 5 Central. That's a, a little bit different of a tournament format. Uh, in that you can just play sets back to back against people of a yeah. similar, similar rating. I think we're gonna grab a new rating, but here. record, record to you. And uh, top four will definitely be streamed, but we'll see if we can stream some other matches depending on availability and, and structure. And then uh, Sunday is our sounds okay. good. Sunday is our grad bash. Grad bash is gonna be a cooperative tournament between the graduate players of four different beginner bracket events bracket about nothing captain hawkeye's beginner beatdown hacker man can't hurt you and the prolific weeb cup uh, so if you're interested in watching the graduates ch beat each other up check that out that's gonna you're be this sunday interested in beating people up? That's awesome. and if exactly if you're a graduate interested in beating people up check that out you're gonna have an ample opportunity um, and then next Tuesday, one week from today, is going to be our Johnny Only bracket for Guilty Gear Strive. Come out with your hottest Day 5 Johnny combos and uh, compete against everybody else who's probably just as confused as you are. Uh, yeah. So come check those out. We have a stacked weekend. This is one of the most stacked weekends 
for Dan I think I've ever seen. I don't know if we've ever had this many events in one weekend. And uh, next week is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't heard, the patch notes have come out. Uh, and they are a doozy. So go check Feel them out. Feel free to doom. Yeah, go go ahead and doom in the chat. This is a doom safe space. Everybody's character has been completely reworked and or entirely gutted. Uh, so you know, we're, we're out here. Separate King jumping back, trying to play a little safer. Ooh, nice third time. Burst out of that kind of Immediate fun. burst. Immediate burst from both players, you know. They both love to. It's obvious match they both to pierce right take, away. I ain't, I ain't gonna eat my mistakes. Alright, 6 speed combo. Let's see what we got. Oh, it drops it then. Great, with, great anti air. Six, six beam, pressing buttons, so he's just like, punished. am I getting a hit? Yeah. Hit to the wall. Players no about stamp. to realize, but Zavi with 50 meter. So oh, huge counter hit. And, and the RC comes through at the last moment, and oh, Sefferton's able to clutch it out. Oh, a very bold round start from Zavi. Back then, she's trying to call out the DP, but it's not coming out. Yeah. Don't give it that easy no more. Learn. Sefferton's showing they really understand what Zavi's going for now. Great combo. Full wall carry into the wall break from from Zavi. Yeah. Oh, that, that S, JS managed to hit. And, yeah. I'm trying to burst, bait that burst so hard, but I really don't Dropping think Sefferton's going to give it this late in the round. Yeah. yeah, dropping their combo with the burst bait, but yeah. So now it's round three. Both players have burst, just like round one. Oh, and Safi gold going burst, for the yeah. gold burst. Try to burst. Spends it all as quickly as possible. 50% life on Sefferton. They'll be playing very safely on what they're known for. Oh, and, Z and Sefferton brilliantly staying off combo. all of Zavi's approach options. This is going to be crazy. Oh, no. Okay, by the reversal. Yeah, this reversal is going to hit. You're all the way in the other corner. Sefferton's in the corner. Oh, but the DP connects. Sefferton's Zavi's really going to just try to scream Sefferton deck. out. 6 crazy. connects. Oh, yeah. Oh. Zavi But the burst it. bait is going to be Zavi taking it. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is your Ban 37 champion. Round of applause for DB Zombie. A, a yeah. dominating showing throughout the winner's bracket. Never dropping a set. Excellently done. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to Sefferton, who put on a brilliant show. Coming in through the coming up to winner's finals through the uh, through the winner's bracket, just like Zavi, getting sent to the loser's bracket by Zavi and going for the run back. You know, even though they weren't able to take it, that was a spectacular... Still made a showing, did yeah, not. Yeah, a spectacular last last match. Not they did not easy, roll over. Yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. Showed that they learned from their mistakes in the previous set. Tried to, tried to ad adapt, but, you know, they weren't able to take it. Now we're going to get uh, Zavi in here for an interview. Zavi, can you hear us? Oh, I see you're here on Hello. on Xbox. Hello? Yeah, I am. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah. How uh, how are you feeling? Tell us about your 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 bracket experience tonight. What was that like for you? Uh, scared. To be honest, yeah, a lot of good players I had to face. Yeah, what what to you was the the in your mind the standout uh, match that that gave you the most trouble, or that scared you the most? Oh well, Sefferton, he's one, and then the Testament I had to face at the beginning. I don't remember their name, but okay. they were really I'll good. Go. Okay, yeah, well. uh so yeah, congratulations on graduating. How have you been uh, working on graduating from the? I, I recognize your name from being in the server, but have you been working on the the like going, coming to brackets uh, week after week? 
Yeah. Well, I've been trying out different ones lately. I tried the online local, I think, last week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then I did this one last week, too. And I tried a few others. Yeah. Still relatively new to competitive, though. Hey, man, really? you did a great job. Could have fooled me. Thanks. Could have fooled me. You look like you had, if not a lot of tournament experience or fighting game experience under your belt, You, it looked like you understood your character pretty well. Yeah, Kai, I've been watching a lot of top players like Tai Rara and Danny. I've been stealing yeah. a lot of their tech, ain't even going to lie. Yeah, that's a great yeah. way to learn your character. Yeah, well, I, yeah. I was really impressed by some of your combo routing that you went into uh, today. That was like, I mean, I saw Kai combos I didn't even think were possible. So, yeah, kudos to you for picking that up. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yep. So, uh, so do you have aspirations beyond you know winning the beginner bracket? What a, do you have any any anything in your sights next? We want to win an opal or an open, not an open, not an opal. You want but, to open a ban open or just a general open? Yeah, tournament? a ban definitely, but any okay, really yeah. a high level yeah. one definitely. Ban opens are full of killers anyway, so. Yeah, a I good know, place too. to it's a good place to start. Yeah. Wow. Um. Well, hey, any uh, shout outs you want to make before we uh, let you go, or anything else you wanna you wanna bring up or talk about? Yeah, RS Oblivion, one of them. Yeah. And hold up. And Kine. Kine, that sounds familiar. Yeah. These uh these friends of yours, players. Yeah, Oblivion graduated a little while ago, I think. Yeah. I He's helped me improve that. a lot on the Bridget matchup. Awesome. Yeah, it seemed like you knew that matchup pretty well. Well, cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah. And Kawi, do you have any other... Uh, uh, anyone in chat, do you have any questions? Or Kawi, do you have any additional questions for our, our new champion here? Congratulations on your blue name. Thanks. Uh, I see you're on Xbox. Did you see Guilty Gear, like, recently? Did you start... Like, how recently you start playing Guilty Gear? I started day one, it came out on Xbox, but I knew of it since it released. Mm. Day one, because I remember YouTubers playing it, and I just forgot about it, and then I seen it on Game Pass, and I was like, okay. screw it, I'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I hated it very much at first, but now I'm loving <laughs> it. I don't know how to play it. Yeah, definitely after the learning curve kicks in, you... you is this your, uh, is this your first fighting more. game, or...? I played MK11, but not competitively. Oh, okay. Brilliant. A lot of people don't like that game. <laughs> I haven't played casual. it personally myself, but... Seems like NRS players and traditional fighting game players are, are different breeds of people, i got to be honest. I don't sure see a lot of crossover. something to say about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow. Gee, well... uh Congrats yeah, thank win, you man. for yeah. Congratulations, thanks for coming in for this quick interview, and um, we will uh, we'll let you go. All right, see ya. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in to our thirty uh, seventh beginner bracket. Uh, next week we will not be having one. We will be having a uh, one week from today. We'll be having a Johnly only tournament. And if you didn't catch the shout outs earlier, this Friday is our SF six beginner bracket to come in and uh, compete for that or tune in if you're interested in watching saturday is our strive what did i say earlier our guilty gear strive season three post patch ladder extravaganza and so if you're not familiar with if, if you didn't understand a single word that i just said uh Basically, that's going to be a ladder style event, which means you just going to are going to play set after set anytime you want. You can play a set from two to five central, which is when the event runs, or you can play a set for two to from two to three, and then just stop playing and watch. You know, you can just hang out. I'm sure, a lot of players are going to be in uh, the band Discord, just chilling, playing Strive together, trying to figure out new tech for their character, that sort of thing. Uh, and then we'll definitely stream a top one, top four for that event, but uh, we'll we'll try to figure out the rest of it. And then, uh, Kawi, can you remind me what's on Sunday? I, on I Sunday is yeah. the Grad Bash, I believe. Yeah. The Grad Bash is going to be taking place at 
4 p.m. PST, so that's like 6 p.m. Central Time. And it's going to be a little crazy because that will be right after Season 3 drops. So. A little mixy, a little yeah. tricky. And yeah, so what's, people what's learn special the about the Grad Bash? What's, why, grad what's bash. up with the Grad Bash? Like, can anybody enter this event? No, nah, it's only for graduates, baby. That's for graduates. It's for okay. graduates from... Uh, we got Bracket About Nothing, Beginner Breakdown, Weeb Cup, and Hacker Man Can't Hurt You. And I also believe uh, there's one more, right? Probably. No, that's it. That's those oh, four. Really? Yeah, those four events. So okay. graduates of those Captain four events Hall will guys, be... Beginner Beatdown. That's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, graduates of those events will be uh, duking it out to see which among them are the best. Uh, these events have been running week after week uh, for a long time now. I mean, I graduated from BAN over a year ago. So we've got uh, a lot of, there are a lot of competitors here. It's going to be a big event, and the competition is going to be pretty hot. So come Don't check it out. Don't forget to join the Discord for it. It's yeah, a separate Discord it, from all the other beginner servers. Exactly. Good of you to mention that. If you're interested, uh, there's probably someone who's from your representative Discord who knows about it and can get you hooked up with the Grad Bash Discord. Uh, we will be running it out of that bracket. And uh, that's also a good place to to get some casuals in. I mean, it's a. I think there are there are a lot of places to get very good beginner uh, beginner games. Ban is one of them. Ban is also a place to get a lot of really good mid level games and potentially high level games. But uh, I think Grad Bash kind of con concentrates all the the mid high level player mid level mid to mid high level players in the in one place, and it's a good place to get matches. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And uh, I mentioned our Johnny event. So that's it for us and our shout outs for the evening. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Kyle, any last words you want to say? Maybe um, patch Damon. Axel bottom one. Yeah, Axel, bottom, Axel actually shares the bottom one slot with Zotto equals bottom one. Yeah. So, you know, we play the two worst characters in the game. I hope you don't too. And uh, with that, we will see you next time. Thank you Thanks. so much. Have a great night.